Believe me, I know how you feel. But please, I beg you, do not allow it to get to you that much. Okay? Maybe this is another way God is using to vindicate me. To show you that I was right all this time. Right about what? Right about the revelation I told you I had. Remember I told you I had a terrible dream about you where a woman was dragging you close to your coffin? Ah. Maybe she's the one. Nama is not. A bad person. I am going to search. I am going to find out why she did what she did. But one thing I know about that woman is that she's not a bad person. Nama cannot hurt me. Nama is not the woman in your dreams. Jacob, I don't understand. Why do you still trust her this much? After what she did to you? Rosalind. You want you and I to be friends, right? Of course. If you really want us to be close, do not ever say anything bad about Nyama. In fact, don't discuss her. Am I clear? Okay, I heard you. I won't discuss her. As a matter of fact, I will assume she doesn't exist. Can I see you, please? I'm outside your gates. Evil that men do will live with them till tomorrow. Evil that men do will live with them till the end. Oh, oh. Evil that what do you want? What are you doing here? Norma, what are you doing here? Why did you call me out here? Please, I came to talk to you. About what exactly? Please, you need to listen to me. You need to believe me. I don't know that guy. I don't know him. I swear that day was the very first time I ever met him in my life. I swear, Joku, I swear. Please, please believe me. Please, please. You can't leave me. Do you know why I'm holding it together? I'm holding it together because I still have some respect for you. Because of all that we shared, I still have respect for you. I'm trying to hold myself so I don't raise my voice and people begin to hear our voice. But Nyoma, you are not allowed to be here. Leave. Jacob, Jacob, please. If you leave me, I will die. Please. I don't know that man. That's Chinasa's boyfriend, I swear. Jacob, please, you have to listen to me. I'm not going to leave here until listen you believe me. Listen to what me. exactly? Your lies? I'm not lying. Why did you become this person? When did you become like this? When did you become like this? You, you lie so easily. You, you're looking at me in the eyes and you're still lying, Jiku, Norma. Jiku, I'm not lying. How come I, I, I never knew this side of you? How come? Jiku, please. Please, you have to believe me. It's me. It's me, Norma. I will never lie to you. I will never. Jiku, please, just, just calm down and listen. Leave this place. Jiku, I'm not going anywhere. You have to believe me. Leave this place. I'm not going. Norma. Leave this Jiku. place before I do something that I'll regret. Leave. You can still me. It's Leave. Still normal. You can please, please, please. Let me through. Just, just, just listen. Let me through.
See what you have done, man. <laughs> I knew I was going to find you uh. here. Oh, my coordinated man. Always serious with his business. <laughs> you know I love you, right? With all of me. Listen, you have to stop this. Why? Like, I've told you I don't love you. We are friends, and I like you, no doubt, but love is too deep. I, I, don't, I don't feel that towards you. I don't love you. I can't keep lying to you. You deserve more than that. You know, I need to tell you, I need to be open. Stop saying you love me. I, I don't love you. But with all my heart, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Oh, leave me, leave me, leave me, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> you must do. Ah, <laughs> I love chest. you. How can you say your me. chest? You're a strong man. My chest is pretty good. You're, you're a strong did. man. Your chest ah, cannot pay you. You almost small, killed me, oh. <laughs> small joke. Don't be playing like that. Ah, but you know that I love Don't be playing like that. I can't even play. Uh -uh. Let me tell you now, now. Let me tell you what I want to tell you. Uh, tell, me. tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Wait, 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 wait. Still paining me. Is it still paining you? <laughs> You're Touch stronger than this now. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hey, let me. Hey. Oh, come on. Has, has it calmed down? Mm. Are you calm now? Forever, baby. It's forever, you and I. You and I. You're my man. I go nowhere, you go nowhere. And I go, we are stuck here together. This is more than love in Tokyo. <laughs> more than love in <laughs> Japan. <laughs> I love, I love you. you, baby. Mm, thanks for you. stopping by. Yeah, I knew I would find you here. Yeah, of course, I have to and come And as usual, house. you smell Stop good. wasting your time! This will not work. I'm trying to make you go far away from your coffin. I am moving closer. Jeku! Run away from women! Look at the grave. I saw a woman bring you down to the coffin. Your coffin! Jeku! Run away from women! From women! Mark my words today. A woman will bring you down to the grave. God forbid. God forbid, Nico. A woman will bring you down to your grave. And by so doing, you will end up not having a successor. Huh. A successor that your family needs so badly. Joku, run away from women. If you love your future, Joku, run away from women. Run away from women. What is this now? Look at it. You have a very good business. A legitimate business. You're a good man, Joku. A really good man. But if you love your future, if you love your life, run far away from women. From women. From women. Rosalind, I was the one who told you that he is going to make you his wife. And I want you to relax. And see how everything will play out. Listen to me, Jeku may not actually be my my biological son, but he is my son. Yes, in the real sense of the word, he is my son. And I am going to be the one who will tell him the woman he will settle down with as his wife. But he has a girlfriend. And from the look of things, I think he loves her a lot. How then do you think he can break the bond between them? <laughs> I don't know where you get your words. There is no bond between them. He's actually playing with that fool and she does not even know. Listen, you see, Jeku as a young man who is um, doing well for himself. He's just, uh, you know, making the best, you know, doing the best with his time. As he waits for the suitable woman. And I can tell you that you are that suitable woman for him. I don't think you really know what's happening. I mean, 
he promised, I heard, he promised to marry her. And this is coming from a reliable source. <laughs> and which reliable source is more reliable than myself? I am the reliable source and I am telling you what is happening here now. You need to know something, eh? Women who are women, they don't take to heart what men say to them just to get them into the bed. Because they know that the truth will always come out at the end. That's it. Okay, I think I should just wait and allow time to play this part. Exactly. And let me tell you something. The time <laughs> is not far. <laughs> what I am telling you, you can take to the bank. <laughs> Your car. Uh, the brakes, the brakes of the car. Remember, I told you I took it to the mechanic. He hasn't finished working on it. I don't want to drive with a faulty brake. You know, yeah. Safety. I understand. But you really need to fix the brake as soon as possible. You know, if you were driving, that which wouldn't have stopped you to say all those things she was saying. Augustina, that one is a mad woman. She's gone mad. Listen, she should better stop it all because left to me, I'll just I'll just warn her, like stop her and attack her <laughs> and just give her a taste of her own medicine. Uh, please, please, don't get into a fight with that mad woman. I don't want her to hurt you. Biko, 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 biko. <sighs> Is that what you think? Hey, hey, see, I'm not that soft though. You think she will, she will hurt me? Wait, you think you think if you keep me and Augustina now for you free for all fights, she will now hurt me? Uh, but slow down, that... slow down, slow down, slow down. It doesn't matter what I think. What I'm, I'm saying is that so if I leave you now, you get into a fight with a mad woman. Huh? No, now. Sometimes it's best to just avoid the devil. You know, let her just go with her troubles. Mm. Please, don't worry. No matter what she does, she cannot put her son down here. Exactly. Huh? She can try. Oh, yes. Yeah, but she, she will, will try. not succeed. She will never succeed. Mm -hmm. Ignore her. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll it's we'll uh -huh. <laughs> Papa, you're coming with me home. No. Oh, what? What do you mean? No, hey, you need to get in trouble with my mother. No. So, see, I'm sure she doesn't even know I'm out of the house. I need to get back home before she realizes I'm not home. I miss you now. Come on. It's been a while. Besides, my mom is complaining that she has not seen me for some time. Uh huh. Well, I can't come with you now. So you want me to get in trouble? You're not getting in trouble. I can't do that intentionally now. Eh? Just come. I won't. I won't waste your time. Eh? Besides, you can also tell your mom that you went to see your mother and a lot to be. I got like it well. I got like it. Yeah. You'll be happy. Okay, I'll come with you. Hi! Okay, boom. Okay, boom. You know, I can say no to you. Okay, boom. I can say no to you. Okay, boom. Aha! Yeah, he is. Ah, welcome. Good afternoon, sir. I Good afternoon. Uh, Jagu, uh, Rose here came to see you and uh, he has, she has been waiting all day. Where did you go? Oh. She's here to see me? Yes. Yes, I did. I came to say hi and also to discuss something with you. But um, it's obvious you're busy. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> and, well, I, I think the best way to handle this is that um, you see her off so that both of you can discuss in that process. Don't worry about your guest. I will take care of her. That's if she doesn't mind. I know, sir. Of course not, sir. I, I don't mind, sir. I'll just um, greet Mama, then I'll go, sir. Okay. Is, is that okay by you, baby? Is yes, baby, it's fine. Sure. It, it's okay if you don't want to see me off. I'll find my way. No, 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 no. You are, you are, you are the person that uh, yeah, you come to see. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, then. All right. Yeah. Be going. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. No problem. Oh. So you said you wanted to discuss something with me? Yes, I wanted to discuss something with you, but it's not like it's serious though. Oh. If it's not serious, then why did you bother to come all the way? Oh no, I mean it's serious to me, but I don't know if it will sound serious to you. Just get to the point, what is it? Okay, um... I want to learn a skill to support my business. Something that will give me steady flow of income so that when I eventually get married, I'll be able to support my husband in taking care of our children. So why 
would you think that I am the best person to come to for something like this? <laughs> Jiku, I have watched you from afar. You are an intelligent and hardworking young man, of which I believe you're the right man for me. What? The right man for you how? Oh no, I mean the right man to get advice from. Okay. Yes. I've heard you. I'll think of everything that you have said and I'll get back to you. Okay? Really? Thank you so much, Jiku. You're so kind. It's fine. <laughs> I it's am fine. grateful. I want to go back from here. It's okay. I'll be in touch. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. All right, take care. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You came back rather too fast. Oh yes, <laughs> who was I supposed to take her home? <laughs> well, I think it's good for us to have this discussion now. Yeah, uh, uh, how about it, Mama? Uh, was she able to see Mama? She wanted to see Mama. Why are you getting yourself entangled so much with somebody who is going to be a liability? Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> As you must have noticed, I like a number a lot. You know, I... I like her. I mean, she's been with me for some time now. I have actually fallen deeply in love with her. And um, when we get married and start a family, I believe that it's my job to take care of her. So, it's not a problem. So, what you're telling me now is that you are prepared to end up with somebody who you are going to be providing for perpetually. Somebody who is going to be a liability full time. Instead of you to, you know, think of somebody that will be a helper who is going to assist you get up there. Is that what I'm saying? Um, I don't see how Norma is going to pull me down, Uncle. That's a woman that I love. We're not just lovers, but we're friends. We are compatible. She has a lot of respect for me. You know, uh, I understand her too perfectly. So I call her my perfect companion. Mm. The hard-working son of my lead brother. The one I hold as a son. The one I hold in high esteem and one we consider to be a star in our family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bob. But you need to understand that love is not enough for marriage. You see that thing you call love? It is never enough to sustain marriage. I want you to always bear that in mind. Well, I know that, but you have also just um, described me as hard work. And since that is true, uh, my hard work will provide for me and the normal. You know, to the best of my knowledge, that girl is not even a graduate. She has no talent. She has no handiwork. All she does is move around the town looking for somebody who she's going to gossip with. Why will you make up your mind to settle down with somebody like that? Because my mind is made up. That's why. Married into your family will be the very one that will put the last nail on your coffin. I don't understand. Uh, you are confusing me. It is not confusing, any Evan. It is not confusing. 
Makaranya labo adafu. To you it might sound confusing, but it is not. Anya labo adafu, anya fu alozo bonike. Look at it. Look at it. In the process of breaking this color knot, a revelation came up. Okay. I saw a woman. Yes, one. A woman. That woman is coming to put an end to you. Yes. It is very, very clear. Very clear. Which woman is that? That woman that they will marry into your family will be the one that will put the last nail on your coffin. I am a my late brother's son, who I call my son, is actually the only one in our family who most likely will be marrying a wife. Is he the one you are talking about? Whichever way, one of you are the mother. That is entirely yours to figure out. You are the one that will run the permutation. Really? Simple. Okay. So, so Jeku is the vessel that they have positioned in my family who they will use to destroy me. And I let me tell you, instead of any vessel to destroy me, I am going to destroy that vessel itself. Whichever way, whichever way you want to get the problem solved is entirely yours to sort out. It does not concern the gods, neither does it concern my humble self. That woman is coming. That woman is coming to put an end to you. Hmm. And that you must stop. You have powers. You have already acquired powers, great powers that can protect you at all times, anywhere, anytime. But, but, the coming of that woman, the coming of the woman, That woman is coming with a presence. A presence that will make nonsense of all your protective measures. And that you must stop. Yeah. You must stop that and have peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am still that Ubefia Madi Ebobe of Umitem. There is nothing that will ever happen that will make me to be afraid of anybody. Not to talk of being afraid of a woman. Not at all possible. I am going to pin this very woman you speak of. I will pin her. And I'm going to make sure she will never be married into my family. Mwelaji. <clears throat> Mwelaji. Well, Why can't he listen to me? There is no way I will allow this to happen. But I am convinced that the only way to prevent this from happening is to be the one who must find him the wife he is going to marry. This evil girl. This evil woman, Anyana Fuishi, is talking about. 
<laughs> Must be this slow poison called a normal. She must be the one. some sense into him. I am so certain that I am not the only one who wants the best for this family. I'm not the only one. Father, what is the problem? Why will you be encouraging your son to build any relationship with that liability when we have an industrious daughter of this land who is willing to be his wife? Why are you encouraging him? Father, I don't understand. What don't you understand? Have you not been the one hosting that um, that useless and normal in this compound as a potential daughter-in-law? Why will you be encouraging your son to build anything with a liability? Who has all it takes to bring him down? Why? Because they're in love with each other. So because they're in love, you're not going to allow Jebu to be married to a liability who has the potentials to destroy? How can you be saying that kind of thing? Jebu is no longer a child. I can't decide uh, who he marries and who he, he doesn't marry. No, 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 you can decide. And I want you to talk to him. Sit him down and talk sense into him. Let me tell you something, eh? I am doing everything possible to make sure that this family is up there. That the progress of this family is guaranteed. And I wouldn't want anybody to bring us down. So talk some sense into Jebu. He must not continue doing anything without the normal. But they love each other. Stop telling Jeku about love. What is love? We are talking about progress. We are talking about the prosperity of the family. We are talking about love. Are you going to eat love? Are they love really? Talk to your son. But you will be well. I know what I'm saying. You won't understand. You see, I've been having a recurring dream about someone, and it scares me to my bones. Ha! Ah. Who is this person? And um, why does the dream scare you? Hmm. His name is Jacob, a young man of this land. I mean, in my dream. I saw him being dragged closer to a coffin by the woman he loves. Ah! Rosalyn, I hope this is not one of your mischievous acts. Huh? Hmm. I know people like you will not believe me. Mm -hmm. But that would not stop me from saving Jeku from the hands of that wicked Noma. Ah! I said it. I knew it. I just knew you were up to something mischievous. Rosalind, I noticed the way you looked at Jeku. The day we saw him with Inyoma. Eh? Then I knew you were up to something. Why would you insinuate a thing like that? Mm. Me, Rosalind. Yes. I don't even like the young man. No! Oh, really? Yes! <laughs> so, I just want to make sure he survives whatever that wicked Noma is planning. It. I mean, I want to save his life. Hi! See, that girl pretends to be who she's not. But I know her. Deep. I saw it. Ah. That girl is a good girl. And that girl cannot hurt a fly. 
So I think that this your dream is influenced by malaria. Yes. Okay, you're not serious. But well, I won't blame you because you're not a believer. I don't care whether you believe or not, it will not stop me. You see, the most important thing is that Jacob's life is in my hand. Mm. And I will do everything possible to make sure he lives. Yes, Rosalind, <sighs> leave Jacob alone. Leave him alone. He loves Norma and they are good for each other. So I think that you should take this, your prophetic dream, to your own soul. Because if you're hungry, go to the kitchen, you have something to eat. I know you're hungry, that's why you came to my house. Go and, go and eat, go and eat, please. Allow me with my thoughts. Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually went into the market to buy some things for you and your brother. It's not easy working around that big market. Oh, how nice of you, but thank you. I, must you always stress yourself to buy something for me and my mother each time you go If I fail to stress myself for you and your mother, who then should I stress myself for? Yeah, of course, I don't. Listen, I, it's actually one is for you, oh, and you. then uh, one is for your mother. Thank you. And you may need to keep the money. Uh, there is something I need us to discuss about your business. Ah, yes. Okay. If you don't mind. Just keep them. Let's 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 talk here. All right. I'll be back. No problem. Rose. <laughs> Mama. Ah. It's all that you're in my house. Am I safe? Ah, of course. You're very safe. How have you been? I've been fine. Okay. Can I see? Of course. <laughs> ah, won't you sit? <laughs> okay. Hi. <clears throat> so, are you alone? Yes. My parents have gone to their shops. Okay. I believe you'll be wondering why I came here. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> I am very surprised <laughs> to see you in my house. I know. It is well. Believe me, I never planned on coming here. As a matter of fact, I had no idea I can do something like this. But life happens. I don't understand. You're, you're confusing me. What do you mean by life happens? Um, Noma, do you have a grudge with Jeku? I mean, your boyfriend. Do I have a grudge? <laughs> Wait, where is this coming from? You're asking me if I have a grudge against my own boyfriend? Uh, I don't understand. Well, um, <clears throat> I just want to tell you that it is better for you to leave him now if you're having any issues with him than to end up planning something bad against him. Wait, <laughs> wait. Are you mad or something? Like, have you gone local upstairs? Is something wrong with you? Hey, how dare you? How dare you walk into my house and tell me this about my boyfriend? Are you mad? No, no. Maybe it has not happened yet. But please, I am begging you. Do not hurt Jacob. Please, no matter what he does to you, I beg you. Believe me, it is not worth it. You know what? Come and go. Leave. Leave. Okay. I will leave. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Leave him now. Before you end up hurting him in future. Listen. 
I swear by my grandparents' grave. If you don't leave this house right now, I will do something with this. Get out! I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Like I said, leave him now. You think I'm talking? Get out of my house! I am leaving. I just came to tell you. I said it! You think I'm joking with you? Come to my house, tell me to leave my own boyfriend. Hey, there's nothing I must say. There's nothing I will not see in this village. Try it again. Hmm. You mean she said that to you? Yes. I actually wanted to ignore her. But I could not. You know how people say that there is no smoke without fire. How would she say that kind of thing to me? Forget about Rosalind. She's obviously delusional. Just forget about her. I cannot forget about her. I cannot. See, she's your friend. Can you just find out from her why she said those things to me? Those things really worry me. Like, I'm still worried and I'm still thinking about it. I can't forget it. Please, just, just ask her. Please, there must be a reason why she said that. <sighs> Nyama, I know why she said what she said to you. But please, don't allow uh, propaganda to distort the, the peace in your relationship. Eh? Wait, wait, don't. wait. Don't. Wait. You know why she said those things to me? So why don't you want to tell me? You want to keep them from me too? Are you not my friend? Please, I beg you, can you just tell me, please? I'm really bothered about what she said to me. And I want to know why. I want to know why she said them. Please. Please. Okay. Fine. She says she's been having dreams. Where she saw you dragging Jacob to his coffin. God forbid. God forbid. I told her she needs to treat malaria. Me? Yes. Drag Jeku to his coffin. God forbid. I would never do that. Exactly. How is that even possible? Exactly. That's why I told you to forget about her. Ignore her. Eh? Her dreams are useless. And moreover, not all dreams are true. How can I even do that? Jeku that I love with all my heart? I would never hurt him. Never. Exactly. What's in this life? Exactly what I told her. Hmm? <sighs> Can we stop talking about Rosalind? Let's talk about something important. For instance, tell me about Jacob. Well, Jacob, I want you to understand that I am no longer comfortable with the fact that you are here in this village, toiling night and day, working so hard without anything tangible to show for it. I'm no longer comfortable with that. Uh, well, it is possible that you have not noticed that I am not... Um, I'm not like um, the young men you have in this town who are not... Uh, should I say contented with what it is they are doing? I think that I am doing okay. I have been able to set up a block industry. And it is not um, doing badly at all. Block modern facility, you mean? <laughs> Come on, Jeku, stop. What you have is not an industry. So don't confuse me with the word industry. It is a block modern outlet that you just configured. It's not, it's not something you should be doing. Oh, well, it's a great business. Don't really call my humble beginnings. Uh, but really, what is the essence of this uh, conversation? I'd like to know. Because I insist that what I have is an industry. I have been able to to hire four able-bodied men who mow blocks every day for our customers and 
you know, someone like you who is like a father to me shouldn't be talking down on my business. Well, that is it. Someone who is like a father. And um, I need you to understand that uh, I have taken a decision as a father. Because uh, you need to you need to be up there. That's why I have decided that uh, we are going to sell one of the family lands. The entire money will be given to you for you to relocate to the main market and go into importation business with the money. Are you serious? I am very serious. Listen, I have, I have monitored you. I have seen how industrious you are. I have seen hard, how hardworking you are. I have seen how you have been very diligent in managing small things. And I am so convinced that if given an opportunity to do something big, that you are not going to disappoint. That's why I have decided that we are going to sell one land, very good land, and then give you the money for you to do something big. That's it. I didn't see this one coming. Uncle, thank you. Thank you so much. It's something we have to do for the family. I'm grateful. Thank you. Jacob, good morning. Yeah, Rosalyn, good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm not okay. I'm sorry to have barged in on you this early. I couldn't sleep well last night. Why? I had a terrible dream about you. And in that dream, you were literally begging me to save you because the woman was dragging you close to your coffin and I was the only one to save you. You had a dream about me? Yes. And I was begging you to save me? Yes, Jiku. And it seemed like I was the only one mm. to save you. Oh well. Like you have just said, it's a dream. Eh? I don't see why you're worried. Jekyll, it's not just a dream. I've been having exactly the same dream. At first, I wasn't taking it seriously. But then when it became frequent, I knew I had to do something about it. Frequent? Yes. Have you taken malaria medicine? Oh my goodness, Jekyll, I don't have malaria. See, my dreams, it comes like a revelation. Mm. And ironically, it always comes to pass. Mm -hmm. So please do not take it lightly. I beg you. Well, there is nothing to be taken lightly because it's just a dream. And I don't know why you're worried about a dream. Jiku, I beg you, please do not ignore this. I can't sit back and watch anything bad happen to you. You are a good person. And I'm ready to help you if only you will allow me. Um, Rosalind, let me ask you why? Why are you holding on so much to, to this revelation, this dream that you've had? Like, why, why do you believe in it so much? I, for a second, let's uh, assume that I agree with you. Okay. How do you intend to help me? Oh, that's simple. If only we get close to each other. Right. I mean, very close. <laughs> then whatever it is that wants to hurt you or harm you, mm. we will have the opportunity to. Because I will save you. Right. Yes. Because they stop it. Okay. This is why you showed up here this morning. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not interested. Okay. I'm fine. I don't need your help. No. I don't believe in that dream, so it would not have an effect on me. Jacob, please, I beg you. This is serious. I'm only doing this for your own good. Because you already promised to help me. Remember? I was actually getting ready for work before you showed up. Who's there? Jacob? Have a good day. Rosa, Rosa, Rosaline. 
<laughs> Sister Augustina, good morning. Telling me good morning can never distract me from what I have to say to you this morning. From the Most High Jehovah to you. Rosaline, you need deliverance. You need Jehovah in your life. Very important. Augustina, don't you get tired? Eh? Don't you get tired? You say you are born again, yet you go about tormenting people. What is it? Eh? Are you not tired of tormenting me in this town? What have I done to you? Eh? <laughs> Tormenting is for the evil spirit. Yeah, you are evil. I'm not tired. Yeah, you are. Spirit. I will tell you the way it is from the straight above. You need deliverance from those demented spirits. Those evil spirits that, that have said this is your two leg. This is your two crooked leg. Crooked. We come now, one. We not stay one place. This two paper leg. We not stay one place. You need to be delivered from those spirits. Eh? Because who could not go one one one? Oh God! Oh God! Ha! It is obvious, very obvious that you are lonely and frustrated. Hmm. Can you you? When last did you meet a man? Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah! Please, 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 do not drag me along with your frustration. Have you heard? Where were you going to? Go. Mind your business. You know what thing? Leave me alone. What thing is ha, that I cannot, can never take insult from you nor anybody around here. Eh. I will not take it. Eh. Be very careful. What will you do? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. You want to fight me? You like this? Eh? <laughs> One more insulting word from you. Ngosugu, that heaven, hellfire, and war, that about the same thing. Even Pagatri. What am I saying? I, I am that. not that one that will hear, I'm they will slap you here, <laughs> I slap you here, <laughs> and you will go in peace. No, <laughs> you will go in pieces. <laughs> listen and listen good. You cannot do anything to me. Ah, what is it? Oh, is it because I, I look calm? Gentle and beautiful. Is that why you're jealous of me? Eh? Let me tell you something. Hmm? If you try me again, you see those forces that have possessed you, eh? I will beat them out of your body straight. No! What? 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 Time I was here, they gave me a cold shoulder. It does not matter. Relax. Okay, you're here for me. You're here to see me. Okay, if there's anyone's reaction, you should be worried about it. It's me. Do you understand? I know, but I'm scared. I, I, I don't. I don't. What are you scared? Come on, let's go. Let's okay, go. Um, wait, let me ask you. What? Did you did you um hear about Rose? Did I tell you she came to my house? Rose, what she came to tell you about her silly dream? Oh, you know about the dream too. She came here. That girl is retarded. She came here. I told her to cure malaria. Is that why you're worried? Aren't you worried about this? Dream? No, I'm not. Are you sure? I, I, I'm, 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 hey, very, I'm kind of bothered about it. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's just a dream. But I, I need but what? to. I need to know something. That what? See, I, I would never. I would never hurt you in my life. Never, never. Seriously. And I trust you with all of my life, Norma. You worry too much. Eh? 
Come on, let's go. <laughs> here this night because there is something we need to discuss with An elder should not sit at home and watch the pregnant goat deliver in theater. Jehu, you are like the, the eyes of this family and we hold you in high esteem. There is no way we are going to sit back and watch. Seeing that you are about to make a very wrong choice. Mom, what is it again? Jeku Jeku, your father and I called you here because of the danger that lurks around you. Your father saw a seer. The seer told him that Norma to bring you to your end. This is why we called you here. It's not only that. It is something that has lasted for a very long time. I have been receiving different, different ministrations from different people. And all of them are pointing to the same thing. That this particular girl you are insisting you must marry, is going to bring you down. You see this beautiful light that you are going to bring into this family? That girl is going to dim it. And we don't want that to happen. We called you here to let you know that if actually you are insisting that you must marry, that Rosaline should be the one you should be looking at because she is the one who is going to take you up there. Mom, what I'm going to say is simple. No seer can determine my destiny. I love Anama with all of my heart, and I am going to marry her. What is wrong with you? Does it mean you have not been listening to me or something? No, are you saying you are not going to take what I have explained to you right now? What I am saying is that it's my life. And no one should tell me how to live it. Uncle, I'm going to live my life. As I deem it fit. I make a mistake, I live with the consequences. Okay, what if this mistake is one that is going to cost your life? No. How are you going to remedy that? No one dies without the approval of the gods. If it is my time to go, there is nothing we do to stop it that would work. And if it's not my time to go, there is nothing anyone does to kill me that would work. Mom, good night. Have you seen it? Has it all boiled down to the something I told you that he's not going to listen? You really need to talk to your son. Talk some sense into your son. My husband, this whole thing is too heavy for me. It's too heavy for me. It cannot be too heavy for you. He is your son. And you must sit him down and talk to him before it is too late. You must be delivered. It is a must. Since you have refused to hear the world, you must hear it. I will deliver you. Yes. That spirit that has hardened your heart, I must cast it out. You must be delivered. I must 
deliver you. I must deliver you. I must. Hey, what's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? Huh? You are looking for to flop. Augustina, you are looking for to flop. You are you, watching the Bible. Like, so if I did not turn around now, like, you flogged me. Eh? You flogged me, Augustina. You flogged me. I will cast that demon at you. You must be delivered. Augustina. You must be delivered. You are the one that will be I will deliver you. You, you. Leave women alone. I, leave women alone. Leave women alone. Yes. I should leave women alone. Yes. Augustina. You, you, you must be. You must. Augustina. I will deliver you. Jebu, it's not evil spirits like you said. That girl is battling with some mighty forces. What forces? She's battling with ignorance. People like you should make her understand that not everyone is connected to her nonsense. If she's mad, let her get help for her madness. Else, I, Jeku, I will treat her the hard way. That means you have not been listening to what I'm saying what from the beginning. What are you saying? Look, Jeku, I know you are stubborn. But don't allow your stubbornness to push you to annoy that girl. Not to talk of hurting her. Else what? I wonder. What nonsense are you even talking about? Huh? What? She can hurt me. But I'm not allowed to hurt her. Why? Because she's a woman? So that means you have not been listening to what I've been saying. What have you been saying? Look, that lady is not an ordinary person. Forget the fact that she's uh, denying her powers by running under the church. Jeku, she's connected to the marine world. Yes. That is why people like you should tell her that not everyone is connected to the marine people like her. Huh? Let her know that if she tries that rubbish with me again, I would I would forget that she's a woman and I'll flog her mercilessly. What, what are you talking about? What are you sitting? Are you justifying her actions? I am not justifying her actions. That is what I you're am doing. telling you who she is. Who is she? Now listen to me. Jeku, listen to me. That girl is not an ordinary person. She has the powers to do a lot of things. Look, she, she is gifted. She's connected to the marine world. Jacob, be careful. Be very careful. When I am tired of this topic, let's talk about something else. I'm getting irritated. I'm finished talking. You better listen to that girl. You better listen to her because she will not tell you what she's not sure about. What is she sure about? The only thing that we're sure of here is that she's a mad woman. She needs psychiatric help. Jeku in And she should get help. Everybody knows that girl has powers. You're the only one who is denying not to know her prowess. What prowess? Okay. 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 What's going on? What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What's even wrong with that girl? What is wrong with her? Is she mad or something? Can't she just mind her business? Why does she have to poke her nose all the time in people's affairs? Why? Well, I made that point clear to her. The next time she raises that cursed cane on me, hmm. I'll deal with her. You know what? Do me a favor, my love. Just, just leave her for me. Hmm. Leave her for me. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Me? I am going to face her woman to woman. Uh, Let me face her. No. You know what? She thinks she's the only mad person. Yeah. She doesn't know that all of us have madness in us. We are just hiding it. We have small craze. Let me show her small. I know, but I won't let you do that. Hmm? Don't do that. Why would you not let me do it? Because I will handle it. No. Listen, if you handle it, they will misunderstand you. They will think you want to fight her and it's wrong for a man to fight a woman. Let me do it. I get you, but I insist. Oh, don't tell me this now. Don't say this. You always try I to calm to me down. It. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want anyone to scratch you. Okay. I don't want scratches on you. Let me handle this. Just uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Noah, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you, sir. I want you to go back to your parents. I want to speak with Jeku alone. Now. Okay, sir. Problem, sir. Uncle, why? 
I don't want to see that girl in my house again. As you have refused to listen to me, I am now handling it my way. Your way? Yes. By embarrassing me in front of my guests, by asking my guests to leave in that manner. Uncle, that is uncivilized. Okay? I'm not a child. You don't have the right to tell me who to associate with and who not to associate. You're not my father. Even if my father were here, he would not do that to me, Uncle. This is not nice. So now, because of a woman, you are going to remind me that I am not your biological father, right? That's it. I understand it, Yoko. But I wouldn't want you to provoke me. I know why I'm telling you this. Do not provoke me, please. Riembo kambo, abo miembo. Riembo kambo, kaji hova bo. Riembo kambo, kaji hova. Baba la bufero, riembo kambo, kaji hova bo. Nesie, riembo kambo, kaji hova bo. Riembo kambo, abo miembo. Riembo kambo, kaji hova bo. Riembo kambo. Anyways, she caught me unaware. That was why she did that to me. And, and she, she just she just did it to me because I was not aware. I was not aware, but next time let her be fair. Let her come to me without that weapon. Then she will see that I will not beat her blue black. Nonsense. <laughs> no man, but Ken is no weapon now. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Ken is no weapon, eh? Okay, no problem. Let her use that cane on you. Then you tell me if it's weapon or not. Ken is no weapon. Oh, wait, wait. What did she say you did, Steph? Because I know she does not just flog anyone. She only flogs those that need to be delivered. That's how she does her own deliverance. Deliverance my foot. What kind of nonsense deliverance are you talking about? Which deliverance? What are you even saying? Did I tell her that I'm possessed? Am I possessed? She should not just try me again. See, that, 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 that girl is a witch. She's a very big witch. She's evil. Hey. Anyway, I'm waiting for her. No, ma. Stop saying that now. Eh? You know, it has been proven that she sees everything people say or do of her in secret. Oh, yeah. Biko, acho romun subu cha cha cha. I don't want trouble. Wait, wait. So you believe that nonsense? Hey, okay. Let me ask you. What exactly do you refer to as nonsense? Hey, please. She doesn't see anything and she doesn't hear anything. She doesn't have, in fact, I don't even know which powers does she even have. She doesn't see anything. See, let her just come out on a good day without that cane. Then she will see what I will do to her. That they will know. <laughs> you couldn't even do anything in budget and you get back. Eh, because she had it and now. Eh, and now you are here bragging. Listen. If you do not stop talking bad about that lady, I will just stand up from here and live in peace. I don't want trouble. Uh -huh. So what is still keeping you here now? Stand up and start going. Leave now. The only thing I want you to do for me is to tell her that I said that she should just wait for me. Oh. She should wait. Yeah. She should wait. Just stop pretending as if you care so much because your son has told me everything. I am just that man who has decided to take care of uh, his late brother's wife and son. To treat them good and that my good deed has now been turned against me. No, my husband, don't talk like this. You know I appreciate everything you are doing for my son and I. I don't know what transpired between you and my son, but don't talk like this. Please. Your son told me to my face that I am not his father. Huh? That I cannot tell him what to do. That it is only his father who can tell him what to do. 
You're, you're, that's what your, that, is, that is what your son told me. Why? Simply because I was making an effort to guide him towards the right, right path. So I would say, I'll talk to my son. I'll make sure he apologized to you. And I, I'm sure he didn't mean it. He didn't mean yes. what he said. No, he meant it. Of course, oh, he meant it. And he didn't just speak out of the other. It's something that he has been bottling inside of him, looking for an opportunity to express it. That's why he will heap that kind of insult on me. Because I was telling him the truth. Who am I even? I am not anybody. I am actually nobody's father. I'm just a, a, a man who has no right. To even tell anybody what to do. No, That's it. You're my husband. I'm sure he didn't mean it. It's not the way you're taking it. You're my husband. You're my. You're my husband. you what is pushing you I, I should not beat you I should not flog you why would I flog you when I'm not mad am I mad I'm not mad now I only flog those that have sinned and I'll deliver them my holy cane is not for you because you have done nothing wrong for now so I cannot flog you God I gotta follow why are you running You see, I am, I've never seen anything that crippled me like this. Had it been the war in the north did not wipe away my entire family, my son would have been here. He would have been the one to, to continue my family lineage. But as, as it is now, I don't have anyone. Jehu is the only one now and uh, that is why he is still alive. Because if not, I would have killed him a long time ago. But I cannot kill Jehu. Because he is now the person who is going to continue the lineage of our family. If I kill him, our family lineage will end. And I don't want that to happen. Wifey, my friend. This is very, very simple. Marry another woman who will give you a son who will continue the family lineage. But there's one thing you must do. Kill Jeku and be free. Or are you waiting for him to bring in that woman who is destined to kill you? So in your mind now, eh, you believe I have not been trying? I have done everything possible. Because I would have preferred a situation where my own son is the one who will continue my family lineage. And that is the reason I've been trying with so many women. Oh, I have been trying with so many women to see if I can give any of them, you know, make any of them pregnant so that that person will be a son, possibly, that will control the lineage. But I have not been lucky with that. From what I finally found out, I can no longer even impregnate a woman. That's the issue. This is serious. I mean, very serious. Then. Uh, let us look for a way out. You cannot sit and watch him bring in a woman who will send you to your early grave or to the world beyond. You don't understand. 
understand. I see that I understand exactly. And I've been trying to solve the problem. By bringing in a woman for him to marry, he has refused to do that. I don't know why the young man is not listening to me. What else do you want me to do? But, my friend, how are you sure that that woman is not going to be the bad one? How are you sure? Uh, listen, I mean, my friend is here told me that the woman who will be married into our family is going to be the one that will put the last nail on her father's coffin and not my own. I understand what that means. What it means is that the woman who they will marry, not the one I, I, I will marry. And that is the reason I wanted to be the person that is suggesting the woman that will be married, because that one that will be married, the one they will bring on their own, is going to do that for me. But if I should be the one that will marry, I have already used my third eye to look at this one that I want to bring, and I know that she's not for me. My problem now is that they are not listening to me. What else am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Your wish is my concern, I think. I'm with you. Yeah, you will you, you listen to me. You will not kill me because I did not kill my mother. I don't like what you're doing, Mama. Please. You must listen to me because I'm your mother. But I don't like what you're doing, Mama. Please now. You should allow me to live my life. What is this? What kind, of, what kind of trouble is this? You're not being anyone to listen to me as your mother. What is wrong with you? You must listen to me in this house. Mama, you know I listen to you. I listen to you at all times. You know that I listen to you, but this time around, I say no. What you're asking me to do is not right. No, Mama. Shukujeko, a wife is your father. He took care of you. And he has been taking care of us since your father died. And he has been a good husband to me. Is this how you want to pay him back for all these things he has done? Really? Mama, so you want me to pay a wife back with my life and happiness? I don't like what you're doing. You're not being fair with your judgment on this subject. How can you say this to your son, Mama? You want me to abandon a woman that I love with all of my heart. Am I a total stranger because a wife he said so? Because we have to pay him back. No, but Rosalind is not a stranger. She is a stranger to me, Mama. When your father came to pay my bride price, that was actually the first time I saw your father. In 1977. After that, we became friends and fell in love. Times have changed. Then give Rosalind a chance. So to get to know her better. Why are you doing being this difficult? Cheku. I'm a man in love. My mind is made up. There's no way I'm living in normal. Cheku, I'm big on it. Juju. I can't do it. Oh, you're in there. I'll not do it, Mama. Please, my son. No. Hey. At home, sir. They went out. But you can come in, sir. Or, or you want to sit here? Sir? Hey. I have not come here to sit down with you. I actually came to speak to your parents so that they will warn you. But seeing that they are not here now, I am going to tell you what I came to say to your face. Stay away from Joku. I don't know what he promised you. And I don't know what you are targeting from him. But let me tell you, nothing will ever work between you both. If you fail to stay away from Jehu, <laughs> something very terrible will happen to you. And I mean every word I have just said. Stay away from Jehu. Stop going anywhere near him. If it happens again, no man. Let me leave it.
just scared. What if he causes problems between him and his uncle? You know this his uncle has been the one taking care of them since his father died. And so? Eh? No, is, is that why he should come to your house to warn you? <sighs> Listen, Onoma. You have to talk to Jeku so that Jeku can talk to him. Yes. Oh, God. Hey, God, what kind of thing is this now, eh? This is getting out of hand. I, I, I cannot even do without Jeku. I cannot. I will kill myself if anything happens. And that is why you need to tell Jeku about this. Yes. He has to know what is going on. He has the right to know what is going on. I know. I know. And I will tell him. But what if this escalates? You know, what if it escalates and causes more problems or something? What if... I say not escalate. Hey, my friend, it has escalated already. It has. For Wolfie and Madebube to carry his big head and two left legs to come to your house to threaten and warn you means that this has escalated already. God. God, God. But my friend, you need to be strong to handle whatever comes your way. Okay, my dear? You need to be strong. You know, go on them. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for coming. Thank you for everything. You don't need to thank me. What are friends for? I can't ah, you are thank you. It's here. <laughs> What's the problem? Because you sounded really worried on the phone. Yes, Neka. I wish you'd understand what I'm seeing. I had the dream again. Hi. Yes, and this time it was so clear. I don't know what to do. I need someone to advise me. <coughs> what dream again? Hmm? What dream? Jeku. Hey! Jeku's life is in danger. And I'm the only one who can literally save him. Tell him, but he won't listen to me. I don't know what to do, Neka. I saw it again. I saw it again. So clear. Listen, can you stop? Hmm? Can you just stop this? This is just a dream and nothing more. Huh? Why do you like making a mountain out of a molehill? Why? Neka, you're such an unbeliever. Okay. I wish you could believe me. Okay. I know that you know that's your friend. Mm -hmm. Right? So please, go to her. Tell her if she truly loves Jeku and she doesn't want him to die, mm -hmm. she should leave him alone. In fact, she should leave this land. Go far, no, no, far, no. far away from Jeku. No, 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 please. There's no way I would tell her something like that because of one ordinary dream. So just count me out. No, 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 no. This is not just a dream. Mm -mm. It is a revelation. Eh? A vision, yes. Okay, Neka. Anything bad happens to Jeku because we refuse to do something about it. We, we forgive ourselves oh. because I will not forgive myself. Nothing is happening to anyone. Please stop, I beg. Leave me alone. I wish you understand. Oh, hey, I saw clearly this dream. Jeku will not die. He should not die. Please. Oh, hi, Mama. You're uh. welcome. Sit. Uh. Thank you, Mama. Ah, welcome. Thank you, Lee. This one you came unannounced. We don't have cola in the house. Oh, Mama, there's no problem. I'm okay. Hmm? I actually got things for you. I am sure you would like them. Thank you. Uh, but I can't take this from you. Why, Mama? I saw them on my way coming here and I decided to buy for you. Mama, there's nothing attached to it. Seriously, I would have got them for my mother, but unfortunately, my mother is no more. So you came to my mind. Hmm? Please. Thank you. You're welcome. My son is not around. Okay. I'll, I'll wait for him. I don't know when he will be back. It might take a while. You don't have any problem, Mama. I have a capable hand in my shop, so I'm fine. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, let me at least get you water. Wifi, I'm tired of trying. I cannot continue any longer. 
Listen, if you really want this to work, then you need to do something about it. You, <laughs> listen, Bruce. You need to calm down. Calm down and understand that I am actually working on this. But you need to actually calm down. Play your own card consistently so that I'm what, what I am working on can even work. You understand? I cannot face him again. No. He's so rude and pompous like an overfed peacock. Ah, please. I, I don't think I can continue any longer. Rose, you need to learn how to tolerate this young man. We're not talking about just anybody, but the very person you are going to spend the rest of your life with. You have to learn how to tolerate him. The way he's going, do you think that will work? Eh? Wait. I want to understand this. You are parading yourself as a big girl and you are giving up so fast. <laughs> Who says I'm giving up? Wait, I don't give up easily. No. But you need to speak to him. Do something. Because if he insults me the way he did before, ah, 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 I'm out. Don't capish. I need you to learn how to look at the next page. Even if he insults you, calm down. Be looking at that next page because this thing is going to work. <laughs> It never happened that I started something that did not finish. I started this. And it is going to finish well. I am a woman of my own. I don't like insults. Do you know what it's called? Well. Well. <laughs> it is going to finish well. That's it. You know, so this one that you came here to see me today without your friend. Who sent you? Did she send you to me? She did not send me. Uh, she who I want us to talk. This is strange. Talk about what exactly? If you assure me that I am 100% welcome, then I can feel at home and we will talk. Well, as strange as it's your visit is, you're already here. Uh, but something also tells me that this is about Inoma. So sit down, let's talk. Of course it is about Inoma. I have a credible information on Inoma. So I want to tell you about it. Okay. Shoot. Jiko. I know I'm not supposed to be telling you this. But I'm tired of watching you being fooled by a woman that you love. I mean the betrayal and disrespect is too much. Okay, can you get to the point, please? I told her to stop this. I practically begged her to stop seeing that guy. But she refused. What guy are you talking about? What is... You mean you don't know? Huh, men. Men. Whenever you men are in love, you get blinded to. I'm talking about the guy Norma has been sleeping with. Nelson. Is this why you're here? Chinasa, how can you say a thing like that about your friend? Your best friend? Chinasa, what is wrong with you? I know you won't believe me. Mm -hmm. But I have proof. What? What proof? You know, I asked her why she's doing this. And she said she doesn't love you. That she loves the other guy. That she only accepted you out of pity after your father's death. And since then she doesn't know how to leave you. That if she leaves you, you might kill yourself. Lies. Upon lies. Chinasa, stop it. Stop lying. Ah! Why are you like this? Why are you so dark hearted? How can you come here too? to destroy your friend's image. Listen, you cannot do this, okay? I know my woman, she loves me and I love her. Oh yes, I know what we have, okay? No man can never cheat on me. That girl is with me, not out of pity, but out of love and total acceptance. 
I try to do things for her. I go out of my way sometimes to give your friend money and she turns it down. She tells me, Chuku Jehu, I'm with you because I love you. I'm with you because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So how can you come here and tell me all of this? And there are lies. Stop it. Stop what you're doing. It's not nice. It's not nice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that you should stop destroying your friend's image. If you have nothing better to say, get, get out. Eh? Yes, get out before I throw you out. That is what I'm saying. Jehu, me, Chinasa, I should get out? Okay, I'll go. But before you dismiss what I just told you, just know that she'll be going to the guy's house tomorrow. So in case you want to know anything about the guy, I will tell you everything that you need to know. No, no, please, no. Eh? I just want you to accompany me there. Oh, we won't spend much time because they are no. Please, now. Oh, you know how men are. They, they want to sleep with any woman that visits them. Since you don't want to sleep with him, then don't go to his house now. Simple. Please now. Eh? I just want to know him more than just meeting him outside. Help a friend now, Biko. See, me, I don't like things like this, so. I don't like things like this. This kind of person that cannot do without touching you. Eh? If you can't stay without touching you, then you, you don't need that kind of man in your life now. You don't. It's unfair. He ain't a mad your mouth. I won't do it to you, eh? I won't do it to you. Oh, okay. What if you you hear now that I went there and the man raped me? Ogadi go be man, eh? Will you be happy? Please no. Oh, it won't take away anything from you now, because me, 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 I don't want to go. I don't like things like this, eh? See, see, I'm going to tell my boyfriend. If he agrees, fine, I'll follow you. If he says I should not go, me, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, you don't have to tell him now. Hey, yes, you don't have to tell him. Remember, I'm still dating that his friend. Eh? Biko no no. He'll go and tell his friend. Wait. That reminds me. Ah, Chinasa, you have a boyfriend now. What are you going to do in another man's house? You call that one a boyfriend. Eh? Someone who cannot even buy me cream. He cannot even buy me pad. <laughs> My dear. I want to weigh both of them and know who is better. Yes, so. I'll do it for you. I won't leave you until you agree. Please, now. Please. have in the house i'm famished uh, baby who is this your friend she's beautiful come on stop admiring my friend come and get us something to eat come, come, come. friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. friend <laughs> let me still have us a minute okay we'll be right back <clears throat> just She did not want to be alone with him. Why is she going inside? Yes? 
We are not two, but one. My dear, <laughs> you are more than the master planner. Yeah. Ha -ha. I'm so happy. Mm. Mm. Um, so, <clears throat> come and pay me well. Eh? At least you pay me well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Olivia, I don't understand. You insisted I pay you up front and I did that. So, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm not talking about the money. Hmm? I'm talking about the other side. The other side that is sweeter than money. <laughs> Ever. Livy, uh -huh. I, I don't understand. Listen, I paid you your money in full. There's no way I'm giving you my body. Uh, okay. See, if you don't want me to spoil everything, eh? Submit yourself in the Hey, Livy. Yeah. Okay, then. What can they? Hi. How do you mean? Hi. Hey. 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 How, how can you do this to us? Oh what do you want me to do? What, you want me to stand here and, and, and hear the lies that you have to spill? No, I don't want to lie to you. Okay, you know what? You don't want to lie to me? Just, 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 just talk to Chinasa. Chinasa can tell you everything that happened. She will tell you all you need to know. Tell me yes. what? What would Chinasa tell me that would beat what I saw with my eyes? Huh? What about the truth? Do I need to know? See, I swear. To think that I was going to disobey every other person and be with you. To think that I was going to, I was going to, I was going to spend the rest of my life. Norma, how did I offend you? What did I do to you? All oh. the promises that we made to each other. You oh. told me that you loved me with your life, that you would die I if swear, I leave you. I still and then I found you. you with a man. No, you don't love oh, me. I do, I do. Listen, listen. I don't know that man. I swear to God, I don't know him. I don't even know why he called me baby. Maybe he was joking. I, I don't know. I You're swear. You're a chronic liar. That's oh, what you are. Oh. You're know a man that I, 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 I caught you almost having sex with. Why? Because I walked in and I ended oh. the session. No, that's no, not what. No, 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 please. Listen, let me just talk to you. Jeku, don't, Jeku, Jeku. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Jeku, please. No, ma. Just, just listen to me. See, Jeku, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You will die. Jeku, please. Jeku, please. Just leave my house. I said leave my house. No, I'm sorry. Leave my house. Can't you hear me? You want me to do something stupid? Leave my house. What do you mean I should calm down? Calm down now. Calm down for what? Eh? See, eh? Livinus told me what happened. You know I was in the kitchen cooking when your boyfriend came. Eh? What do you mean you were in the kitchen? Why would I your useless boyfriend call me baby? Why? Why would he call me baby? Oh, oh, okay, baby. Of course he called me baby. That's the reason Joku is this angry. Hey. Why would he call me baby? For what? Hi. Living in Suga laptop one Biko. Eh? Ne. Calm down. That's how he does. He calls everybody baby. Okay, baby. Mwani baby. I got the baby. Oh, eh? You've seen now? You've seen the useless boyfriend, the kind of useless person you took me to his house. So that caused even more okay, baby. You took me to his house. Hey, look, look, I warned you. I told you I did not want to go, but you insisted. Now see where he has landed me. 
I want you! I'm sorry, no. Eh? Okay. Um, don't worry. I'll go with Livinos to Jeku's house so that we can explain everything to you. Eh? Calm down, everything will be fine. Don't tell me to calm down, oh! You better just carry down your useless boyfriend and go to Jeku's house and explain everything to him, oh! Better go and explain to him, oh! Tell him how everything happened, oh! He should tell Jeku why he called me, baby! Never to one, no. Eh? Nene. Don't tell me that, 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 please. Don't, don't, don't touch me. See, I don't want to hear anything from you. Until Jeku has understood what happened, I will not listen to you, oh! I'm warning you now. Yeah. You, 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 you just put me in trouble. What, what, what kind of thing is this now? Eh? Calm down. We have to find out the truth. Because the normal that I know cannot do such a thing. So we thought. So we all thought. But she did after all. Look at me. Why would she do a thing like this to me? Why? After all we shared? After all the promises of love? Ah oh, no. Ah oh, no, my is evil. Women are evil. Jacob, don't go there. And just because your woman cheated on you does not mean you should demonize all women. My wife is a woman, and I'm married to the best woman in the whole world. She's not evil. My mother, too, is not evil. What did I do? What, 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 what must have gone wrong? We, we had a perfect relationship. What, what was my offense? Like, what did I do? Why? If not that you told me you saw with your two naked eyes, I will have asked you. Are you sure you saw well? Or do you have eye problems? Obona, you are not going to mock me. Obona, Obona, you are not going to mock me, not in this state. You no, you will not mock me. If you have nothing to say, Obona, go back home. I'm not mocking you. I am not mocking you. Um, but don't worry, I will get to the root of this matter. Because something does not seem right here. Something does not seem right. Don't worry. I'll find out. Believe me, I know how you feel. But please, I beg you. Do not allow it to get to you that much, okay? Maybe this is another way God is using to vindicate me. To show you that I was right all this time. Right about what? Right about the revelation I told you I had. Remember I told you I had a terrible dream about you where a woman was dragging you close to your coffin? Ah. Maybe she's the one. Nama is not. A bad person. I'm going to search. I'm going to find out why she did what she did. But one thing I know about that woman is that she's not a bad person. Nama cannot hurt me. Nama is not the woman in your dreams. Jacob, I don't understand. Why do you still trust her this much? After what she did to you. Rosalind. You want you and I to be friends, right? Of course. If you really want us to be close, do not ever say anything bad about Nyama. In fact, don't discuss her. Am I clear? Okay, I heard you. I won't discuss her. As a matter of fact, I will assume she doesn't exist.
try it. Please, can I see you? Please, can I see you, please? I'm outside your gate. Evil that men do will live with them till tomorrow. Evil that men do will live with them till the end of oh, evil that What do you want? What are you doing here? Please. Norma, what are you doing here? Why did you call me out here? Chico, please, I came to talk to you. About what exactly? Please, you need to listen to me. You need to believe me. I don't know that guy. I don't know him. I swear that day was the very first time I ever met him in my life. I swear, Chico, I swear. Please, please believe me. Please, please. You can't leave me. Do you know why I'm holding it together? I'm holding it together because I still have some respect for you. Because of all that we shared, I still have respect for you. I'm trying to hold myself so I don't raise my voice and people begin to hear our voice. But Nyoma, you are not allowed to be here. Jacob, leave. Jacob, please. If you leave me, I will die. Please. I don't know that man. That's Chinasa's boyfriend, I swear. Jacob, please, you have to listen to me. I'm not going to leave here until listen you believe me. Listen to what me. exactly? Your lies? I'm not lying. When did you become this person? When did you become like this? When did you become like this? You, you lie so easily. You, you're looking at me in the eyes and you're still lying. Jiku, Norma, Jiku, I'm not lying. how come I, I, I never knew this side of you? How come? Jiku, please, please, you have to believe me. It's me, it's me, Norma. I will never lie to you. I will never. Jiku, please, just, just calm down and listen. Leave this place. Jiku, I'm not going anywhere. You have to believe me. Leave this place. I'm not going. Norma. Please. Leave this Chico. place before I do something that I'll regret. Leave. Chico, it's still me. It's Leave. Still normal. Chico, please, please, please. Let please, me through. Just, just listen. Let me. Please, Chico, Chico, don't please, you. please don't do this to me. Please, just listen to me. Please, please. Chico, please, Chico, 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 please. My friends, my friends. Rosalyn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes? How can you do this to your fellow woman? How can you? What has Rosalyn done this time? Eh? You have finally snatched Inoma's boyfriend away from her. I mean, how does that make you feel? Oh, <laughs> happy, excited, and expectant. Yes. See, I'm expecting Jacob to warm up to me soon. Hmm? 
I am also expecting him to propose marriage to me. <laughs> How do you see that? <laughs> Someone hmm? would do worse to you. Ah, back to sender. Back to you. Please, stop being a bad belly and rejoice with your friend. Ah, ah. <laughs> you are unbelievable. No, 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 stop. You've been eating my food. It's time for you to rejoice with me. Really? Yeah, so that you can also have your man. <laughs> Hey, you could get married to me soon. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Norma, if you ask me, I will say that you should forget him. Yes. I mean, it's obvious he wants to break up with you. If not, how can he just draw conclusions so fast? Tell me. But this is so hard to believe. So, you actually told him everything that transpired, like exactly the way it happened? And he still insisted that you were lying. I did. I even told him that I was in the house when he came. Yes. I told him everything, but he refused. Oh, Jorodria, bam, bam. <laughs> From the look of things, my dear, it's obvious that Jeku wants to dump you. But I don't understand. Are you sure nobody told him anything? Because, I mean, how would he know you were there? I ain't sure nobody told Who will tell him? No! Who will tell him? My dear, nobody told you anything. I mean, it's obvious that he has been spying on her. Yes. And uh, besides, I knew it wouldn't be long before he succumbs to his uncle's pressure. He promised. He promised. He promised that he will never leave me no matter what. <laughs> hey. He promised. Hey. My dear. He has been deceiving you. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that Joku must succumb to his uncle's pressures. He has done it. Can you stop? No, ma. Listen. I don't know exactly what happened. But I don't think you should give up on your boyfriend easily. Is huh? I don't think that. No, ma. Don't mind her. Don't mind her. If I were you, I will forget everything about him. We are Kitty. There are a lot of men out there. Lots of them. Okay? Better men. Okay. Mm. I'm not happy. You're leaving. This was not the agreement. You're leaving. Huh? You promised me that you'll be here for the entire day. That's what you said. Uh, you know, yes, I was hoping that at least you'd be here for like what, say, ten hours. Oh my goodness! Yes. Okay. Then what? Hmm? Uh, Please. Mm -hmm. I've got work to do. Ah. I remember I stayed with you for two hours. Just two hours. Yes. You've got work to do. I have work to do too. Do you know that I suspended everything I was doing at my block industry just to come and spend time with you? Oh, and I appreciated you for that. Okay. Ah. Yes. I mean, the guys working with you at the block industry, they are a bunch of workaholics. So you don't need to worry about it. I see. Yes. Ah, okay, my uncle is fine. <laughs> uncle. Look at that. <coughs> well, you're welcome. You're well, how are you? Well, Good Yeah, Rose. Welcome, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, then, uh, return my greetings to your father. I will. Okay. Okay then. Okay. No, I'll just walk out. Okay. No, no problem. No problem. Let's do that. Okay then. Oh yeah. I'm not happy. You should stay. No. Spend some time. I need to go to the show. You can suspend it tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Like you go. No, tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Take care. This one you are now seen regularly with Rose. Should I understand that to mean that you have seen what I saw in her before I concluded that she has to be the one you will make the wife? Uh, Uncle, I don't know what she what she saw, but uh, I'm guessing that this is what you have always wanted. Close, close to what I want. What, what then do you 
exactly want. Jacob, when are we specifically going to pay her bride price? Ah, Uncle. <laughs> Not so fast now. Uh, uh, Rose and I, we need, we need more time to, to know each other a little more. Don't well, you think? I am actually thinking that uh, <laughs> you have to apply more urgency in this. Because she's ripe and you are ripe too. I want you to do this before another man will beat you to it and uh, put money on her head. You know what I'm talking about? Well, uh, Uncle, uh, uh, my understanding of marriage is that it's a serious institution. It's, it's a serious issue. Um, I, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to marry a woman that I, I don't know well enough. Yeah, but I, I believe you know her well enough to proceed to pay her bride price. Of course, yes, you, you know her name, uh, you, you know her surname, uh, you, you know her father. Uh, you know where she lives. Uh, you know fr you know she's from this town. And most importantly, you know her education, her qualification. So what else do you want to know? Okay, you have to slow down. Because I, I really haven't made up my mind. Tonight. Listen to me. Hmm? Shut up and listen to me before I descend on you. I am not intimidated by that your stupid cane. No, 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 no. Augusta, if you want, eh, we will kill ourselves here. I am not afraid of you. You should know that. <laughs> Rosalind, I'm not here to fight you. Ah. I'm here to ask you a very simple question. Are you by any means using any information from me wrongly? There's something I see, but it's not clear. I do not understand it yet. But from what I am seeing, for both, if you are doing that wrongly, Rosaline, <laughs> you are going to experience a very hot, crazy heartbreak. <laughs> are you done? Augustina, are you done ranting? Okay, if you're done, leave. Hmm? Go out there and deceive people about seeing clearly or not seeing clearly. That's not for me at all. Listen, I can't regard you more than an ordinary mad woman. Yes, you are mad. You are mad. I am only tolerating you because I see you as a sister. <laughs> <laughs> All your insults and everything, I'll take them. Continue. But very soon, very soon, you congregate you, meaning your crop will be full. Augustine, I am not your sister. Yeah. You can never be my sister. Oh, you are not you? your sisters. Go to church and meet your sisters. This is not your sister. Why did I tell you? Why did I tell you? I am not your sister. You not your sister. You know your sister. Oh, but, you know, go to church and meet your fellow sisters. Stop coming to my father's house. Nonsense. Imagine. Why would I care? Why would I have mad woman ranting dirty things? Evil that men do. Wifi, I don't understand. A while ago, you want me to marry your son so badly. Now, all of a sudden, you want me to stop seeing him. What do you mean by that? Because what I am saying is that this thing you are doing was not the plan. I don't understand. I didn't work all this hard for you to become his puppet. That you are not available coming to see Jehu practically every day? No! That is not how you should play this thing. You are supposed to give him space. Don't make yourself so much available. Be a bit scarce. What thing were you working for, Wavy? Because I am confused. What, what are you working for? What I am working for 
is for you to do everything possible and become married to him immediately. All these things you are doing, trying to, you know, coming to the house every day to be with Jehu behind closed doors, only God knows what both of you are doing, is not good. Because before you know it, this person will become so tired of you and may not even marry you again. No, no, no. So you should play hard to get. That is what a woman does. A woman should not just be available. You should play hard to get. Okay. So should I give him some space so that he can go back to normal? No. You can still give him some space and he will not go back to normal. Everything depends on you as a woman, how you play it. A, a smart woman will be able to do that and I brought you to play this thing because you are smart. Not for my hand now. Nah. Don't allow Jehu to see you finish. That's my problem. See, finish our race, Vivian. You have not been coming to see me. You have not been taking my calls. Did I do something? Pardon me, my dear. It's just that I've been very busy. But not to worry, okay? I'll make out time for you. Something you've been saying for so long, now. This is the same thing you've been telling me for so long. Every time I complain, you say, oh, you've been busy, you've been busy. What is going on? I'm so, so, so sorry. It's just that one of my friends who came back from the U.S. has been on my case. He wants to marry me. I told him I am not interested, but he has refused to let me be. Wait, hold on. So, you have stayed away from me because of another man. I thought you told me that you love me. Come on, Jeko. You have not asked me out or acknowledged me as your girlfriend. We're just friends, right? You know what? Let me just marry you. Yes, that is why I actually came here. To tell you that I want to come and pay your bride price. Just like that. Pick a date. I'll bring my people. I'll pay your bride price and I'll take you. So, he said he will see my parents and then pick a date for the paying of bride price. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick, I'm so happy. Your girl is getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You know, at first, it was all about, I just wanted to save him from the hands of that Noma. But, as fate will have it, Jeku fell in love with me. And now he wants to marry me. So, who am I to say no? <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me understand what you're saying. <laughs> you, you wanted to save him? Yes. And he fell in love with you. Yes. <laughs> what does that? What does that even mean? Ah, you don't know. Okay. I saw it. It is crystal clear now. <laughs> you heard me. You heard when I told Obuna what I saw about his friend. That I saw a woman dragging him to his grave. Any grave. And that is what you have been using to get to him. You don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> the very day I asked Obona to come here. He came. And I told him to warn his friend, Jacob. To stay away from women if he loves his life. Hmm. You listened to that conversation. And that is what you are using to get close to Jeku, right? I still don't know what you're talking about. If you get me angry now, I will change it for you. How? Why are you so forward and unbelievable? What is your problem? Please, 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 please. Tell those invisible forces that is controlling you. Tell them to leave me alone. Okay? I don't want their prophets. They should leave me alone. Stop! Whatever you are doing, Jeku. Before it is too late. Do not be the reason why he will lose his life. I warn you again. 
You are talking nonsense. <laughs> yes. Jeku loves me. Mm -hmm. And faith brought us together so that I can help save him from whatever that evil Norma was planning for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Norma was not planning any evil for Jeku. In fact, Norma is a better woman than you for Jeku. Yes! Rosalind, stop whatever you are doing with Jeku. I will not warn you again. Augustina, if you are done talking, leave. <laughs> As who? This is also my father's house. If I want to stay here for a decade, you don't have the right to tell me not to do so. But you know what? I said no, I will not stay in the same space with you. Mm. You are contaminated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not your father's house. You know where your father's house is. So go, leave me alone, Augustina. Anything that concerns me, leave me alone. Stay away! <laughs> Don't use this cane on me. Stay away! I'm gonna flog you. Stay away! I am not those outsiders. I am not those outsiders. I'm telling you, I know. Please, eh, Augustina. I will forget you're my sister and do with you. Try it now. Collect this and flog you back. What is it? Huh? -uh. I think I'm those outsiders. Go, go and flog them. Not me, oh. Leave my father's house. Go. You know your father's house. Go there. Go. Oh. Go and see the visions you will see. What is this? Be careful. Hey, hey, hey. What is this? What is this? Eh? What is the problem? You cannot just be here crying. Crying will not solve the problem. Go get your man back. Eh? And from what I heard, Rosalind is doing something to hold your man back. Yes. So please go and fight for your man. How do you want me to fight for him? How? I'm not even interested in doing anything to try to get him back. If you are happy with her and he wants to be with her, fine. No, Allah. Hmm. You should just be with her. It's okay. I, I, I never knew, Noma, you have sense like this, who? Eh? See, since Jeku wants to marry Rose, let him go ahead and marry Rose. China, right? sir. Yes. Let him go ahead and marry Rose. Is that why you're crying? Wipe your tears, Biko. Uh -uh. Reserve your strength for, for, for better things. No, ma. Better men. No, ma. I disagree with you. Because that man is clearly not doing this with his clear eyes. Yes. So go and fight for your man. Fight how? Just... How do I fight for him? You see? How? Answer the question. You want to push her from fry pan to fire. Eh? Ne. Don't mind this girl. You know, go just reserve your strength and energy for something better. China, sir. Where are you China, sir. Eh? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Why are you so annoying? Mm. Instead of you to be encouraging her, it's the other way around. What is this? What is what? No, what is what? Is it your fight? Is he your man? Yes, he's my man. Eh? Ah, uh, he's what? Ah, uh, you heard me. No, ma. Well, I know it's a lie. Even if you have eyes for Jeku, it will not work for you. <laughs> In Ania, mm. it will work for you. What do you mean? Uh. You want to push her from five pounds to fire? Is that what you want to do? Listen. Oh my God! No, it is better she lives with her dignity intact. I don't care to be you. disgraced and humiliated by by, by, by that stupid Jeku. Do you hear me? Stupid Jeku. Mm -hmm. Listen, Chinasa, I don't care what you think mm. or what you do think, mm. but I must get to the root of this matter. Mm -hmm. Noma, I would fight for you. Fight her. I will get your man back. Don't worry, the just fight us. Is he your man? Is the fight your fight? Ah, Why are you fighting the fight that is not your fight? It is our fight. It is not your it fight. fight. It is not your fight. You I'll blow your fight. Is it possible? What is it? Now, please, just listen to me, please. Norma, please. Norma, leave this place. Excuse leave me alone. Just go before I do something we will all regret. Just leave me alone. Please, now, just listen to me. Listen to what? Let me try and prove my innocence to prove you. Prove what now. innocence? <laughs> Beyond what I saw with my eyes? No. That man called you baby in front of me. No, I swear, you're the only baby I have. I don't have any other baby. I don't know that man, I swear. Please just give me a chance. Just give me a chance to prove everything to you. I will tell you, just, just give me a chance. And how am I sure I will not be wasting my time? No, no, no see, if I don't come, 
Because if I don't convince you, just do anything you want to do. God, give me a chance to even show you that I don't know that man. Don't allow Rose to take you from me, please. I don't want her to take you away from me okay. now. Leave this place before I Come on, get out of this place before I find this what, what, what are you still doing listening to this, to this hammer? This shameless hammer? This expired cuss? Listen, if I see you in this compound again, it will be when I Come on, come on, get out of this place! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! You're already doing so well. You're doing well. Don't have anything to do with this kind of man. She's going to the store. Don't worry. Come, let me see you again. again. to leave Jiku alone. I told you to let him be. But you refused to heed to my advice. Why? <laughs> Augustina. Augustina, leave me alone. Let me go my way to avoid trouble. Have you heard? And for your information, you have no right to tell me who to be with. If you truly love Jeku, if you love Jeku, let him go. Let him be so they will not kill him because of you. I am begging you now. I am tired of using force. Please, let Jeku be. Okay. I am begging you to. In fact, let me send you on my errand. Hmm? Go back and tell those evil spirits that are disturbing you, that they are jokers. Okay? Leave me alone! Ha! I beg you. The strength of that poor widow is Jacob. If anything happens to Jacob, she won't survive. I beg you again. I beg you with anything you hold dear. Let Jacob be. Well, you will not succeed in weakening me with that with that demonic emotional plea of yours. Do not walk. Stop coming to me with this nonsense. Jaku is mine. Nothing will happen to him. He's mine. Let him be. I beg you. I have actually decided that uh, Jeku, my late brother's son, who I call my son, uh, should proceed and, uh, and uh, pick a wife. I came to invite you as my friend because I want you to be there 
the day my my son will pick his wife. That's why I'm here. I have not come for a consultation. That's why I say you shouldn't bother yourself with Kolanath. Mm. Mm. What did I tell you about this marriage? What did I tell you about this marriage? Are you thinking of it? Mm. You told me that the woman who they will marry into my family is going to be the one who will put the last nail on my coffin and I beat them to it. I decided not to allow them to marry anybody. The one they wanted to marry for themselves, I cancelled everything. Rather, I am now the one who brought the one that he's going to marry. I did it because I am convinced that the one I will bring is not going to be the one that will put the last nail on my coffin. That's it. And that's why the marriage is proceeding. You, I, you understand it, right? Yeah, <laughs> Asuria <laughs> You are making a grave mistake. You are making a grave mistake. Because no one knows the very woman that is being talked about. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. The only thing that was shown to me is that woman that is coming to put an end to you. Your brother's son's wife is the woman. The very woman that will put the very last nail on your coffin. Whether the woman is brought by you or by someone else is irrelevant. Ubevi, um, in that case, I think you have to go to the consultation now. Because I need you to tell me, this particular woman who is planning to put the last nail on her father's coffin, and not my own, I need to know her, because I want to send her to the world beyond. That to me is the best way to solve this problem. Mm. Obuevi Amadi Ebube. You now want to go into consultation. Because you are, you are beginning to bring too many dimensions into it. No, but I thought you said you are not here for consultation. Uh, uh, but you started to twist it left, right, and center. That's why I said you should make consultation. Let us know who this girl is. Malonyo. Uh, the truth is that I am only a seer. As the Moses Yoga, I James Yoga, I see the Elijah put on my head. I am only a seer, and I do not see what I do not see. Uh, but uh, you know it yourself that there is no way I am going to kill Jehu to solve this problem. He is the only son we have in our family now, and if I kill Jehu, that means the family lineage has terminated. So you need to tell me who this woman is. 
let me turn her off. So that this thing will not happen. We can make the Jaguar to Madima one way or the other. Hmm? Abuefi Amadiebu. Abuwa wange nukwende mwosi u nijeji mwala abuwa tu na abuwa na haha. Osisi wane kika abuwa abuwa wane kika osisi. Osisi wane kika abuwa abuwa wane kika osisi. Go home and sort yourself out. The truth is that I do not know. The best for you to do is to go home the key will not match your head down and need it. Go on, so to say. That means no marriage. Listen, listen. Oh, no, I'm going to go on. 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 If you want to displace madness, do so when you are up there on the tree, not when you are down. I am up there already. You just struggle up after with the ground. I am up there already. No marriage. That is what you are saying. Every marriage can solve. Right? One hour. Go and sort yourself out. Jake, you will up at your head alone, Mary. No marriage. Every woman should stay in their father's house for now. Marry when I met me. I can't be all right. I am not all right. My uncle has started to become a thorn in my flesh and I'm not going to allow it. What happened? What did he do? Can you imagine my uncle woke up this morning and told me that you and I can no longer get married? No, that I should halt the marriage plans. I'm not, I'm not joking. That's not true. It can't be I, true. I'm telling you what he said. He even swore that he's going to do everything within his power to ensure that it does not happen. That man smokes something. I keep saying it now. I, be, I told my mom that my uncle smokes something before he goes to sleep. Because I don't understand how he can just wake up, make a decision, and then the next day, he makes another decision and expects everybody to fall in line. Even he's had a okay man. Jeku, there's no way your uncle will say something like that. I mean, he accepted that you would marry me, right? And I did everything he asked me to do. So he, he can't just wake up and take such a decision. He has taken that decision and you and I need to find a solution to it. I did nothing wrong, Jeku. I'm not saying you have done anything wrong. We don't know what his reason is. But at least you should have thought about that reason before he, he, he encouraged me to... My uncle practically got me to propose to you. Yes. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And then, just about when I agree, he says no. And uh, it's not possible. <laughs> Jake, wait, 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 wait a minute. Are, are, are you saying your uncle that I know? Amadie, baby. he asked you not to marry me. Do you think I left everything that I was doing to come here home? I came here because I'm running out of my head. I came here to vent before I lose my mind. My uncle is smoking something. Something is wrong with that man. I'm ah, how can he tell me, oh, you need to get married to Rose Daly. She's, she's, she's not a liability. Huh? Someone that you need in your life. And I agree. And then suddenly he says, no, you cannot, he cannot be tossing me around now. No. Eh? He can, that man is trying to get me to go mad. But he's going to go mad before I go mad. Where are you going? I don't know. Jaco! Jeku told me something a while ago that got me confused. What did he tell you? I said I'll confirm from you first before I know what to do. I said, what did he tell you? That you asked him to suspend everything about his marriage. That is correct. Do you have a problem with that? Why? You said Rose was the best for my son. You insisted that he must marry Rose. And that Rose is better and suitable for him. So what changed? Why are you now asking him not to marry the same Rose? that you said is the best for him. Well, uh, Mama Jeku, you need to understand something. 
we are talking about a progressive member of this family. I want the best for Jehu. The Jehu we are talking about is like a star that we have in this family. And there is no way I will just allow him to a very dangerous path and I will keep quiet. If it means finding like 100 women for him to make a credible choice, I don't mind. But one thing you need to bear in mind is that there is no way I will see it and watch Jehu end up with a mad woman. But you told me that you made the necessary findings and that Rose is the best wife for my son. So why moving him back and forth? It's not right. No, no, no. What are you saying? Are you possibly saying that I, I don't know what I am doing? Or are you insinuating now that I don't want the best for Jehu? This is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you should have been certain before making such a decision. Now you're toiling, it looks as if you are, you are messing up with his plans, with his emotions, in fact, with his life. Well, I need you to understand this thing. Jehu is a man. Not just any man, he is a man who is a man by every definition of the word. And he will be alright. Okay? I need you to know something. Even your late husband, my brother, will be very mad at me from his grave if it turns out that I just sat back and watched your book make a very terrible mistake. I am doing this in the overall interest of this family. And that is something I need you to understand. I don't know what is going on. You have been calling my number consistently as if I owe you your life, demanding to see me. And I am here now, waiting for you to say something, and you are standing there, you are not saying anything. What the hell is going on? Obuefi, did you ask your nephew, Jeku, to stop every arrangement? concerning our marriage, citing that I am not good for him, that he should not marry me. Eh? I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Could this be the reason you have been calling me non-stop? What's wrong with you? I, I mean, are you sick in the head or something? Are you mad? Obefi, I don't understand what is going on. So I want what? to understand. Let me ask you again. Did you ask Jeku, your nephew, not to marry me. Why? Okay. I can understand you want me to repeat myself. And I am going to repeat myself for you. I am, I am not afraid of you. Okay? You see, Jeku, my nephew. Mm -hmm. Jeku, my nephew, needs a decent woman to make his wife. You are not a decent woman. And you know it yourself. So a decent man like Jeku, who has not messed up himself, who has not misused his body, should be able to have a decent woman who he can call his wife. Hmm. Have I answered you now? Wifi. So after everything I did for you. What did you do for me? You now think I am not good for your nephew. After collecting my money. After doing everything you asked me to do. Yeah. You're now telling me Jeku will no longer marry me. Well, I need to make you understand something. You have never given me any money that I use for myself. You know that I have my own money. I don't need your money for anything. Every single money you have given me, I used in buying things for Jeku and the mother, just to prepare the way for you. Mm. So if finally you are in dire need of the money, you know the place where you have to go and look for it. Mm -hmm. If you are joking. Mm -mm, not joking. You are now listen and listen. Whether you like it or not, I, Rosalind, must marry Chiku. Don't want me to marry Jeku in your face. Then I will marry Jeku when you're gone. And that is you dying. That will be so. 
John. Mm -hmm. he, he follows up. He don't get out of my house. But whatever is in our care neighbor, he follows up. Leave my, my house. Talk, my friend. Leave my, my house before I get angry with you. I don't get it. What was his reason? I don't care what his reason was. That man is not going to control my life. I won't allow it. This is strange. Why, why would he suddenly change his mind? Now I've always said that that man smokes something. Yes. Whatever it is that he smokes affects his brain. And this, this is a testament to that fact. How else do we explain that he wakes up one morning and changes his mind? Over something that he's been supporting me on for so long. Suddenly, just like that. Uh, remember what I was telling you earlier when you started telling me about wanting to marry Norma? Ah. You are going to talk about her, Norma. Bonaya, please now. Please, don't bring in Norma. Don't, don't make this worse for me. Please. This is not about Norma. This is about you. This is about the thing that Sister Augustina told me about you. Uh, are we going to talk about Augustina today, really? I've told you to stop telling me this kind of things now. Uh -uh. When I am sorry, but at your age, you still believe things like that? This is the 21st century. All that is bullshit talk. Bullshit. I don't want to hear about it. I don't, I don't believe in it. It's not. This is reality. Look, you're my friend. I will not lie to you. I have witnessed the manifestation of the powers that Sister Augustina controls. She is powerful. She sees far. And that is why you believe that I am going to die untimely if I choose to marry now. That you'd rather I wait till I'm very old before I marry. Stop being a doubting Thomas, okay? All right. Look, just stay away from women for now. Work hard, make money, travel if you want, have fun, do whatever you want. And then maybe by the time you're done, whatever it is Sister Augustina saw or is seeing will have passed. This is a joke. This is not a joke. That is what you should do. No, you're joking, because I will not do that. What happened? Because you sounded really troubled. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wifey wants to see the beast in me. He wants me to unleash all the bitterness I have for men on him. Ha ha. Ha ha. What was that? What did he do? <laughs> ah, Rose, Rose, you have suffered. Ah! After everything I did for him. After using me, I mean all the sacrifices I made for him, the risks I took for him, after eating my money, he now wants to do this to me, me. Babe, babe, I, don't, I don't understand what you're saying. You're not making any sense. What did he do? Okay. <laughs> Obefi used to buy things from my store. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We were close, yes. And then one day I met Jeku. If you know Jeku now, yes. I mean, he was with Noma that day. As a fine guy and as a fine babe now, we connected. I liked him, yes. I, you know, fell in love with him. And so I started asking around and I found out that he is with his nephew. Ah ah! Easy thing! So I had to go to Obefi and I explained to him what I want. Do you know that Obefi told me if I want my wish to come true, then I have to go down with him. Very nice one, you know. Very wonderful one. But I, I have to leave it now. Because I 
I have a meeting in the, in the next 30 minutes. Okay, so what about what you promised me? What exactly? Ooh. You're always forgetting. Hey, everyone. Okay, I'm talking about your, your brother's son. Hmm? You've not said anything about it. Uh, and, and you know I have been playing my own part. Yes, yes, eh? I agree. And you have been playing your part so well. You just played it now and I've been pressed. But why are you in a hurry? Am I not the same person who promised you that Jehu is going to be yours? Calm down. Continue doing this thing you are doing with me. And I can assure you that when the time comes, and the time is, is almost very close, Jehu is going to be yours. When? <laughs> because I keep seeing him with Norma. And he doesn't even notice me. Should I be very sincere with you? What? You see that one they call a Norma? Mm -hmm. I hate her so oh, much. I hate Naturally, her. I don't like her. I hate her also. And there is nothing in this world that will ever make it possible for her and the Jehu to end up together as man and wife. It's <laughs> not possible. Jehu is yours. Just continue with what you are doing, which I am enjoying. <laughs> and he's going to be yours. Okay. Uh, but in the meantime, eh? <laughs> I need some money to buy some things that I will, I will, I will take home. With if you me. understand what I mean. You're asking too much. You've been collecting a lot of money for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's getting but, too much. No, but the money cannot be getting too much because the money is actually being used to buy things for Jehu and the mother. You know, things for them. You know, mm. Not for me. Yes. If we are going to succeed in this thing we are planning, then uh, you you need to bring all the money, you know, for us to, you know, you know, you know, soften the surface <laughs> for you. So the money is being used to soften the surface for you. If you want your home, mm. you, you got to do the needful okay. uh, after the money. Uh, I will give you some money. Okay. Okay. But, Wifi, hmm? I want results. Good. Hey, Rosaline is here. My second name is Result Oriented. A resort oriented. I've never fed. Hmm. If you're talking about resort, you will get to just go Wait. go and bring the money. Do not fail me. I am not going to fail you, but don't fail yourself by, by stopping what you started. I'm you got to Yes, I'll bring the money immediately. Ega wo kwe as I said. This girl is fired down. So sweet girl. The money. Hey, you see, after all that, Wifi turned around and looked me in the eye. Me, Rosalind, told me that I cannot marry his hey. nephew. He expects me to take that? No. <laughs> Rose, you see? Hey! You are unbelievable. Is Jehu the only eligible bachelor in this village? Zamia. Is he? China, sir. Can no more jokers say that she cannot find herself another man? Just shut that dirty thing you call a matter. I wasn't talking to you. Yes. Stop. 
countering my words. I don't care what you think. It's none of my business. But please stop opposing me when I'm talking. Uh -huh. Please, you guys. No, please, please, wait, 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 wait. You came in here joyfully. You were mm -hmm. happy. You were screaming. Just, just tell us what it is now. And it's not fight. Papa Yao screaming as if she saw her great grandmother's ghost. I don't even have your time. I would just like I didn't hear you. I would just ignore you. Let me tell you. Okay. Do you know I've just come from Mrs. House? In yes. And she gave me the, the highest shock of my life. Really? Right? <laughs> what is it? She said to me, just go to Rose and ask her. Eh, no as I was saying. Ah, but I'm here also now. Eh? How can you talk to her alone? General, general, this is general meeting. I'm here also, I want to hear. So talk. I already told you if you want to hear, go to Rose. She will tell you. What do you want me to tell my people? If you want to cancel this marriage, then you and your uncle should come tell my people yourselves. Because I can't tell them anything. I don't know what to tell them. What are you talking about? Where did you get that from? Who told you that the marriage is being cancelled? Look, relax, okay? I have this under control. With or without my uncle's support, we're getting married. Okay? I understand that a lot is going on, but we'll find a way. There is a way. What way? Okay, um, I need to speak to some people and then we will find a way to do it without him. Okay? I hear you, but the truth is I'm already making some arrangements myself. Alright? It has always been my uncle's desire to have me out of this town. I'm going to go somewhere else. So this is what I'm thinking. Go ahead. Get married. Yes. Do this. And immediately, you run off to town. Unless, of course, you have a problem with coming immediately. What are you saying? Chico, I'm ready to go anywhere with you. I love you so much. And I'll do anything to be with you. It's fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I love you so much and I can do anything to be with you. <laughs> I'm getting married. Oh, what are you doing? Please, if you need anything, go and come back, okay? You were sleeping with your friend just so he will let you go. Hi! Do you know what will happen if this news gets out? Who told you this? Eh? Who? <laughs> My friend, go in there and bring the money I asked you for last week. And you know what? Double it this time. Chinasa! <laughs> So, you are blackmailing me? Eh? But wait, who told you this? My friend. <gasps> oh my goodness. That stupid necka. So she blew what I told her in confidence. My friend, can you just go in there and bring the money? Or do you want me to go to Jekuna and tell him the truth about everything? Chinasa, you're not ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are not ashamed of yourself. Oh, you think you can blackmail me, right? Eh? Look at you. No, 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 wait. Hey! <laughs> Look at you! You're talking about shame! My friend, you are the shameless one! Yes! If I were you, I will go into this house and bury my face in shame! She got that is what you are! Sleeping around! <laughs> pyom, 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 pyom. Shame on you! You are the shameless one! As usual, you are very hungry. When you're hungry, you go from house to house begging for food. Now it's my turn to feed you. Mm. No problem. This is your time. Enjoy it while it lasts. Mm. Because I am coming for you. Let me go and give you your, your time. Let me go and get the money. Go and get the money. So it is time. better I, I beg. It is better I beg than mm. to sleep around. Shameless woman. She goes. You are so shameless. Sleeping around. I you are so shameless. Go so and bring the money. Send you with her and son. Be here. Be Look at her. Witch. You're a bastard. Neka, you're a bastard. The worst thing that ever happened to me in this town. Eh? How could you be this wicked to me? How? Just look at you. Just take a look at yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. In fact, you should bury your face in shame. 
What were you thinking? That I was going to support your shameless acts? <laughs> of course not now. Yes. And you should know me better than that. Neka, I will deal with you. Oh, please. I don't blame you. I blame myself for opening up my secret to you. I thought you were my friend. But now I know that you're the enemy within. You know what? When you're done ranting, please get out of my way. You will be very stupid for saying that. Neka, hey, in this town, I will deal with you. I, 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 I will deal with you. I will, I will. So who are you? I'm his son. Yes, a boy his son. Aboki Biko, eh? Odorom Kodiki. If you don't want to tell me who you are, I will leave this place. Alam Gwanu Monye Bono. Look at you. He you went with that. Buroku, Burata. Konya na bibia bokasiano. You just look like an angry creditor. Hey. From Ugu. Ali Lali Ilala. I am not a creditor. Eh? Forget about my look. Eh? I am not a creditor. I am not a creditor. I am not a creditor. I am I am I am I I I Mama, they can't get it as right as I'm saying it now. You understand? When you book and one of my for my if you listen to me very well. Yes. No, no, I can Get the feature. Talk now. Let me leave this place. What do you want? I am his first son. I'm a boy of his first son. Of all they do. His first son. His only child. Onyaosa, Genti, Obuefi told us that his wife and children were killed in the first Boko Haram attack. Nubuaosa, and that his first son was abducted. And by now, they would have probably killed him. So, what are you talking about? Uh, okay, my name is Ofonedu. Yes, I was abducted, but we escaped. Yes, some of us who escaped. The woman who found me where I was hiding, she tried tracing my father, but my father has already run away. <laughs> it was just one month ago. I met my father's best friend. He was the one who directed me here. <laughs> It's as if there are, there are particles of truth in what you just said. Eh? Not just particles. I'm telling you the truth. Nothing but the truth. 
Well, we will know the truth. <gasps> if you're lying, we will know today. If you're telling the truth, we will know today. Nelson, <laughs> let's go. Nobody, nobody. Papa, that guy there on a No, no, no. Hey, what are you? Yeah, yeah. That a photo one. No, 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 no. Come now. My, 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 Oh, with his son. Your brother. <laughs> well, like, your brother. Chino, sir. You know that my uncle has never declared that he has a child. So why would you bring this man here? What are, what's wrong with you? Uh, my brother, I know you may not know me very well because I have not been to this town and I have not met any of my siblings before. But I want you to do me a favor by introducing me to my father, Obwefi Amadi Bupe. He is the only one that will confirm that I am his real son. His only son of all do. Yes. 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 He has a point. Yes. I mean, look at the resemblance. Look at this year. Very big. Yes. Like Obwefi. Very, very big. Then look at the nose. Obasara Abasa. Yes. Kanko Obwefi. It's a large. Forget this Wenwuda. He looks very much like a wave now. Yes. Eh? So please, yes. on one leg. Yes. Don't send him away. Yes. And, 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 my, my father said we, we, we used to be very tall. We used to be very, very tall. Yes. Yes. You can see. We are brothers. I'm welcome. I'm welcome. I'm welcome. Uh, I, look, I, I don't understand what this is about. Honestly, I don't get it. My uncle is not around. But if the young man insists he wants to see him, he can wait. Can, can I go inside and drop my back? No, 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 no. I just, I just, I just. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is fine. The young man wants to meet you. Can go. But my uncle comes back. Can do this. Are you sending me away? Yes. It is a family matter. I'm not going anywhere. I want to be here when the you will confirm him his son. Uh -huh. At least so that I can have the gist first hand. Chinasa, sir, you can go. This is a family matter. Huh? We'll sort it out when my uncle comes back. Just go. Okay. Oh. But I am Chinasa. Hmm? I will get this gist first hand. Since you don't want me to get it from the right source, I must get it either by hook or by crook. Thank you very I'll much. I'll get it. You can go. Bye bye bye. Oh. Oh, bye bye. Hey. I'm from Chinasa. Ah, oh. I I say, hey, bye bye. Say yeah. goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. My brother! My brother! Welcome. This is something in here. Yes. Ah, she make him thank you. Funny you do. Ah, thank you, Jehovah. Uh, now you're welcome, bro. Oh. Hi, no. Oh, funny do. Hey, my babila. My son. Hey. You know, today is the happiest day of my life. Finally, I have somebody who I can call my own. Yes. Eh? Yes. You're welcome. Hey. You're I very welcome. Yes. <laughs> I know. I blame you Allah for this particular day to come. Yes. And you are here. Yes. <laughs> it's you, my father. Obwefi Amadebu. Yes. Amadebu, And you are here today. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look at your brother. Huh? My uh -huh. brother? Yes. Me, no. him, same, same. He's your brother. Too much talk, too much talk. Yes, my brother. And this world is your mother. <laughs> my mother? <laughs> ah. she's, she's actually better. You know, she is actually the combination of all the women you have ever met in your life. You are. Uh, this world is the combination of them all. Welcome. welcome. <laughs> oh. You know, now that you are here, you see this your dressing? This is your cap that makes you look like a 
those Boko Haram people, we are going to remove all these things and start to make you look like one of us. So that much. people will not misunderstand you when you go out. Baba Allah, to this one too much good, whereby they will wear this one too much sun. Too much good. No, uh, well, you, you, you are here now. <laughs> I love you guys get us something to drink. Can I have one? Inama, I was thinking that you were going to use the information I gave you to get your man back. What is wrong with you? Why haven't you taken any action? Huh? How do you want me to use that information to get him back? How? What if he regards it as false accusation? Okay, even if he believes me, it will just make him hate women the more. It wouldn't make any case for me. At least, at least, that girl, that, that, that witch, that shameless girl will lose. Is that not a big deal for you? Or are you just going to sit there and just fold your hand and let her take your man away from me? Is that what you want? See, at this point, it is okay. Like, it's, it's okay. If she makes him happy and he wants to marry her, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm tired of trying to prove my innocence. I'm tired. What are you talking about? Are you just going to give up on your love? Someone that you know that loves you and you love the person too. You just want to fold your hand. You don't want to fight for what you want. Fight. Yes. I'm tired of fighting. I am tired of fighting. Listen, right now, I am choosing my fight. And this particular fight is not worth it. I don't want to be part of it. No. No, ma. You will regret this. You know that, right? If you don't fight for Jiku now, after everything that you know, you will regret this. You were saying something about business. Yes, Papa. Wala, the business in the north is different from the one here. I'm still trying to understand how you manage to cope with everything. You are still trying to understand? Yes. I don't know. How long will it take you to understand that? You know, Papa, over there. Ah, Uncle. Welcome. Welcome. Uncle, I have good news. What is the good news? I have found a buyer. Buyer for what? The land. Which land? Uncle, the land, the, 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 the family land now, the one that you told me that yeah, I, I should go look for a buyer for, then the proceeds from that will invest in my business. So that one. Jeku, I have to tell you this. Stay away from family lands. I should not be discussing that with you. Jeku, you are the son of my late brother, and there is no business I have sharing lands with you. You may eventually do that with my son. When I am no more. But now that I am here, Jehu, stay away from any parcel of land that belongs to this family. Um, <clears throat> Uncle, I don't understand you anymore. You are the one who told me to, to find a buyer for one of the parcels of lands that belongs to the family. You told me that once we sell it, you give me the money so that I can invest in my business. Now you're tired of seeing me go to that uh, block molding outlet. <laughs> That's how you put it. That, that, that I'm very focused and serious-minded in life. And you'd like to see me try my hands on something bigger, like importation, for example. Those were your words. Uh, uh, Jeku, please. Don't try to remind me what I said, for my memories have not failed me. I remember exactly what I said, that you could find a buyer for the land. But I have changed my mind. And that is because I've seen something better to do with the land. Listen, your business, block in, your block industry business is not doing badly after all. You are doing so good there. Why can't you concentrate on that business and stop doing all this nonsense with all these guys looking for who you will make a choice of a wife? Why can't you do that? Business first. started happening since the sun came back. Yeah. 
became a different man after his son returned. This is not... <laughs> this is not my uncle. Now. This is not the man that I, I have been living with since my father passed on. I, he's very different now. You know, since his son returned, he, he's been treating my mother and I poorly. He does not care if we die. He doesn't, he doesn't just care. He has actually told us to stop going to the family lands. That he's, we're not allowed to go there. I'm telling you, he said he does not want to see us anywhere close to any of the lands that belong to the family. He does not want to see us. Strict instruction. What kind of rubbish is that? Look, this is very, very serious. You must go and report to your king's men. Uh, don't also forget that I don't have the rights to share lands with him. He can only share lands with my father. I can share lands with his son. And since my father is no longer alive, I might have to wait for him to die to share lands with his son. What type of wickedness is this? Huh? This, this worries me. I cannot lie. This, this just worries me. You know, sometimes when I think of this, I regret why I did not sell that land when he had offered. You know I'm never in support of selling land. Hmm? But don't worry, don't worry. Um, there will always be a way out, okay? I hope so. I hope so. This whole thing is driving me nuts, you know? I hope so. It's driving me crazy. You know I have set up the block industry in a way that it can run on its own, even in my absence. Just when I have decided, okay, that, that part of my life is sorted. Let me go to the city, venture into something bigger. Obu Fiamadi Bibi decides to be to, to, to be a stumbling block. Got your uncle. Got your uncle. Jacob, please forget about that land. I have enough money that we can use. Hmm? And after our marriage, we will have to move out of that house. All right? It does not work like that. Uh. I'm a man. Eh? I'm not wired to be collecting money from you. I should take care of you. I love the other way around. I have told you this before. I love you so much. And I will do anything possible to make you happy and okay. And as long as we're concerned, it's my... Not my... <coughs> Chinasa. Chinasa! Okay. Listen me on this. How dare you barge into my house like that? Don't you have a spec? Um, Joko, you could not be angry. Oh, I want to talk to you. Okay. Um, <coughs> there's something I want to tell you. Hmm? You see this something? Adumaka Biko, I have been meaning to tell you this something since... <coughs> you know in this village, everybody knows I'm me. <laughs> and I have conscience, mm -hmm. unlike some people. Hapo Makabiko, this thing I want to tell you, eh? Hi. It has been disturbing my people. What, what is it? Uh -huh. What is it? Jogu, brace up. You know? Okay. Activate your shock absorber. Make for unka. All that shock for you. I need to talk to you. Uh, uh, let her tell me what she wants to tell me. <laughs> Baby, don't worry, just relax. No, you're my you uncle. remember you that guy? That guy came to your house. Self. Okay, so that say, what is it? No, 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 no. I need to say that guy came to let us go. That truck go. What is it now? Why are you tracking me? What's your problem? I can't do no magic. What's your problem? Something wrong with you? Hey, listen, 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 listen. I have a conscience. Unlike you, ever since I did what I did, mm. I can neither rest mm. nor sleep. Mm. Yes! Mm. So I'm not like you who have sold your conscience. Stupid conscience. Chinasa, please, please, I beg you, do not spoil what I've been trying to build. Have you heard me? What did you build? Where did you build this? Shut up. On Shut what up. land did you build the building? Contractor. Where did you build? See, listen. What you are enjoying now, I helped you to build. Don't forget that. Don't! Jesus. Oh, you're so cheap. But when will you stop this? Eh? 
What have I done to you to deserve this nonsense? He <laughs> wants to know what you have done to deserve this nonsense. Fine. I will tell you. Ever since I helped you to build this relationship that you are enjoying. Tell me. Have you fed my conscience? No, answer me. Have you fed my conscience? <laughs> eh? Come here, that you're supposed to pay tight. You don't know. Gina, I've always known you to be cheap. Okay, tell me. How much will it take to feed this cheap and hungry conscience of yours? How much? How much? In Amia. How much? Yeah, but I like the question. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're talking. How <laughs> much? And we, uh, I will have to consult my conscience. I understand so that. Oh. My pad. My pants. Slippers. <laughs> Don't you get tired? Hmm? Have I not tried for you? How long will I continue to be giving you money for you to stop? How long? Genius, I'm talking to you. After all the money I give to you, see the cheap hair you're buying. Look at, look at, it. look at how you look. She just hold it up, hold it up. I need to go and see my boyfriend. Yeah. No, shut up, shut up. I'm talking to you. Come on, don't now. stop me. Tell me how much. Don't stop me. Tell me how much. I, I have to give you my pad, my pants, my jeans, my slippers. You know what I'm saying? Girl, give me money to go and buy pants. Don't have a boyfriend. How much is it? Don't stop me. In my house, I will, I will, I will. Don't stop me. 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 Is it that you cannot just go out? I mean, go out and associate with people. I don't like it that you are always here, fiddling with your phone, sleep, eat, wake up and sleep again. I don't understand. Is that how you want to live the rest of your life? Uh, Papa, I don't have any money. I'd rather stay inside. Trying to see how I can start making money online. I don't understand. Uh, do you have any idea of any real time business? Yes, 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 Papa. I have idea. I have one business idea. Uh, palm oil business. Yes, palm oil business. I have an idea. Palm oil business. Yes, yes. So you are telling me now that if I if I can find money and give you, you have an idea of how you can go about palm oil business? Yes, why well, not? Well, I have a friend whose name is Ibrahim. I buy oil here in big quantity. I send to Ibrahim, Ibrahim receive and sell it. Send me money. Through that means I will make it plenty of money. Big money. Good. And uh, you, you trust this Ibrahim? Yes, I trust Ibrahim. Ibrahim is my good friend. I trust Ibrahim. Settled. Yeah. In that case, I am going to sell sell one land. Hey. And I'll give you the whole of that money hey. for you to start this palm oil business. Hey. And if I should monitor the business and see you are doing it okay, I will sell another land. I will still give you the money. Hey, nobody. Nobody. Hey. Oh, hey. I have been wishing to start up my own business since. Hey. It, it, it cannot be a problem again. Now that you have your father, you shouldn't have any problem. You see, in this land where you entered, yes. there is only one major business we do in this land, yeah. and that is to sell land. Yeah. And in that circle of selling land in this land, I am the person who is in charge. Yeah. So there is no reason for you to be complaining. Yeah. Now that we are, we, you know me, yeah. I am going to make money available. For you to start the business. Okay. And I will monitor the business. If I do it okay, I will give you more money. <laughs> <laughs> now, good. In yeah. that case, I have to call Ibrahim. Call? Yes, yes, call him and put it on speaker. I want to hear his voice. Okay. I'm the base. He's ready now. Oh. 
Good afternoon. Uh, afternoon, beautiful Nyaria. Uh, excuse me. Are you not um, Ogwefi's lost son? Yes. I am Ogwefi lost son. Lost but found. <laughs> I am not found. Lost but found. Yes. You must be very funny. Yeah. My name is Neka. Oh, my name is Afadeidu. Yes. I've heard little things about you. Very little gist. Mm -hmm. And you don't seem to have so much going on in your life. <laughs> Why do you say so? I mean, as someone who has not been in this town all his life, and just suddenly appeared, but yet they just have so little to talk about him. <laughs> so tell me, how did you do that? Uh, I don't understand what you want me to say, but I must say I like your communication <laughs> skills. Yeah, uh, Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, are you going this way? Why are you looking at me like that? Eh? Did you call me here to look at me? Do I look guys and be a TV to you? Chinasa, I hope you're ready to do what I want you to do. My dear, if I wasn't ready to do what it was you want me to do, there's no way I'll leave everything I was doing to come here if I wasn't ready. So shoot! Fine. Then listen. There's something I want you to do for me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. We cannot do that here. Why? We can't do that here now. It's, it's, uh, I can't do that. Okay, so then let's go to my house. I mean, my father won't be back until two days before the wedding. Is that so? Yes. Uh, you should have just told me now. <laughs> Instead of dragging you all the way to do this, you have just told me I'll just come straight to your Okay, it's now. not late. Let's go. You really can't wait. What are you saying? Stop you can't it. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, yeah. Uh, okay, my, my cousin is here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey bro, what's up? I'm good. I'm fine. I'm just chilling. I think I need to leave. What is it? I can't be here with that, that wench. Are you mad? What did you just say? Uh, hold on. Look. Say that. Please, please. Um, so, what are you going to do about it? Really? <laughs> Please, hold your woman or take her outside. I need some moment with my woman. No, 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 no. We're not going anywhere. We came here before then. I know. Uh, so, uh, please, let, let me whisper something to you outside. Oh, whisper here. Of uh, course. What did you do? Please, 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 let's go. Let's go. I don't like this. Let's go. It doesn't do the master. It doesn't do the master's gym. <laughs> Why did you allow him to treat you like that? Huh? You are his elder brother for crying out loud. Well, but this is his father's house. I don't have bragging rights here. You know, I have to I have to be wise. Even though. Even at that, he has no right to treat you the way he did. Don't worry, babe. When we finally get married, all this insult will be over. I'm telling you. Hopefully. Okay. Bro. Yes! He's asking you, what are you doing here? You shameless wretch. I am here to tell Jiko everything he needs to know about the shameless thing he is about to get married to. You have nothing to tell. Baby, don't mind her. Just ignore her, okay? Just walk me out. Pero, oh, Happened in Mokala. I don't want to see any way happened in Mokala. 
And you more you see the nigga we have on the Mokala Pharaoh. Pharaoh, oh, have on the Mokala. <laughs> Augustina, Augustina, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stay out of my way. Else, I will kill you and go to jail for it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just go home and bury your face in shame. You hear me, bogey. Yeah. <laughs> you see where I want to go to now? Listen to me. Hearken to my voice. Do not go there. Because if you do, you shall regret it. <laughs> and you think your opinion matters to me? Eh? <laughs> go to hell and burn to ashes with your fellow demons. Nonsense. I speak to you. As a sister, oh. what betide you? If you get me angry and I use force on you, you will not like it. You will not do anything. Augustina, you cannot do anything to me. Oh, you think it's like the last time. <laughs> Try it. I can see that you're already frustrated and hopeless. You want me to be as frustrated as you are. Not possible. I can never be like you. Listen, Rosalie. Hmm? will get married. Yes, I will marry and build my own home. Rubbish. I do not want to marry now because I choose not to. Mm. I am not like you that men avoid. Mm. I have a lot of them coming for my hand in marriage. <laughs> Countless numbers. How many? But I said, Augustina, not now. Okay. I have a mission. Mm. And when I'm done, when that mission is accomplished, I will be married. Not just married, but happily married. I say to you again, do not go to that place you are going to. What betide you? What betide you to? Because you will regret it. You will regret it. Rosalie, come back and go home. You shall regret it. What betide you? Why beside you? Why beside you? Oh my God! You cannot allow that wench steal your man away from you. Mm -mm. My dear, I pity Rose now. Mm -hmm. So after all the arrangement for the marriage yeah. and everything. Honestly, I pity her. But you know what? what? It serves her right. Of course. <laughs> I wish you guys were there. You needed mm -hmm. to see her face. Mm -hmm. You needed to see the look on her face. Hey, she! <laughs> you shameless idiots. Oh, you think you can scatter my marriage and walk freely in this land, eh? <laughs> no, ma. I hope you're ready for what is coming for you, Madam Rose. Leave her and face me. I was the one who told her everything. Relax. I'm coming for you. You know what I can do, right? How dare you come into my house? Rose, you cannot do anything. Listen, leave my house. And for your information, you have failed. And I promise you, I will get my man back very soon. <laughs> I will not let that to happen. Over my dead body, will you get back to Jeku? Rosalind, get out of this compound before I descend on you. Get out! Neka, mm -hmm. you are mad. All of you are mad. Eh? As a matter of fact, your entire generation cannot do anything. Eh? What? Is that? Ah! What is it happening? What is your problem? Sit down there. 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 To fight. I, 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 will, I will deal with all of you. Deal with you. I will make sure you, you want us to be wrong. You want us to be wrong. Leave this place now before we kill and bury you here. Hey, please, oh. Get out. Come and die in my house. Come and go. 
This is your bag, sir. Maybe I'll just, I'll just fling this inside our building. Fling it! Take this thing and go! Get out of this house! I was a stupid girl. You see this one? This one you call your friend. This one. <laughs> you think this China is your friend? She's not your friend. She's the one who. Shut up, my friend! Put your book on. Hey, man, that, that what? Mm. Leave this place before I give you a permanent man that you will not forget in a hurry. Okay. No, ma. Come, let's go inside. No, ma, let me tell Come you. This is your. No, ma. I paid Chinasa, the mm. one you called your friend. To lie to Jeku that you have a man friend that you visit every week. So true. Don't listen to that. When I leave this place. No, 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 no. Hold on. I think I want to get everything. Mm. Go on. You see the whole escorting me to a man's house and then calling Jeku to come over there and then the man calling you baby. Eh, I paid her. Hey. Hey. No, ma. Oh, it is a You are my friend now. Eh? I can't do this to you. Don't you forget no? Think. No ma, think. Use your head. Eh? How can she tell you to follow her to a stranger's house? And then she left you in the living room and went into the bedroom with the stranger. How? I paid her. We planned it. This place. I'm leaving. That's a good this place. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I didn't do nonsense. I didn't do rubbish. I said leave here. I'm Come leaving. Leave this place. I'm leaving. Leave this place. Woo! Cheap girl, I paid you. You took my money okay. and you betrayed your Leave this place. Hey, you come here. Use your head, no man. As for your Go away. Hey, I'm coming back for you. Go away. Go away. You've lost. Go away. Cheap girl, I paid you. Gina, huh? you I Mama Joe, nice. were you the one who hired those idiots to be harvesting the yand cultivated on my land? Were you the one? Is it the yam that uh, Jiku hired them to cultivate? Have you parted ways with your manners? No, you are now answering my question with other question. No, 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 it's not what I am saying. I just want to know if it's the same land where Jeku hired them to cultivate on that you're talking about. So if Jeku was the one that hired them to cultivate on the land, uh -huh. are you not aware that the original owner of the land is the owner of everything cultivated on the land, even the air? You're not aware? No, I don't know where you're driving at. You know where I'm driving at. Talk to your son. Let him stay away from that land. In fact, I am going to brief my son to hire the laborers who are going to you know, harvest everything that is cultivated on the land, and then he will sell everything. Use the money to start to make his life more, more meaningful. You know it yourself, that young man has suffered all his life. Now that he's back here and he's doing nothing, he needs the support he can get from all of us. Are you not aware? So it's about your son now? Mm -mm. It's not about my son. It is about our sons. Talk to Jeku, your son. Let him... You know, expand his business from the money he has been saving from the block industry. But if actually he wants to sell a particular parcel of land, let him sell that one where his block industry is. You should go ahead and sell it. In fact, I have approved for him to sell that place and use the money for something better. He should stay away from any other land. So if Jeku should sell that place, what do you want Jeku to do? You really want me to answer that? Yeah, of course you answer me. What do you want my son to do? <sighs> My mother used to tell me that I should trust no one. But I would always tell her that Chinasa would never do anything bad to me. I trusted Chinasa. She was like a sister to me. I told her everything about me. How could she do this to me? How? God, ah! this, this is so shocking. How much did she even pay her to do this? God, so, she just was paid to betray me. She accepted the money. God, it's still so hard to believe. God, do you know what? Let's just forget about Chinasa for now. Now, this is the perfect time to tell him the truth. This is the perfect time for you to get your man back. Go tell him everything. Yes. I 
will. I will do that as soon as possible. Nyeringa! Everywhere, jump some but please! My winner! Ah, of all of you. Eh, too much good. I made a head. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I need to speak with your brother. He's going. Problem, no? No, no problem. Inside, don't give me what you hear. Hey, no. Too much jiggy jiggy. Hi, Jacob. Naka, how are you? I'm fine. I need to talk to you, please. Okay. Jacob, please. You need to apologize to Neoma for treating her poorly and accusing her wrongly. Please. Um, listen, Nega. That Neoma exposed Rose does not exonerate her from her sins. Noma cheated on me. Let's not forget. Norma cheated on me and I'm never going to have anything to do with her. You're so wrong. You're very wrong. Yes, Inoma never cheated on you. She never did. In fact, she even refused to be with another man even after you broke up with her. Uh, you know what? Uh, don't stop wasting your time. Your boyfriend is waiting for you. You can go inside. Rosalind paid Gina, sir. To lie against her. If you want, you can ask Gina, sir. But after them, please go and apologize to Inoma. It's about the land you said you sell to help the Jekyll expand the business. What land? Say what you want to say. I want to go somewhere. I told you that already. Uh, Jeku said uh, you've changed your mind about selling the land. Yeah, it's important he, he told you I changed my mind because that is just the truth. I was the one who promised to sell land for him to expand his business, right? Yes, and he's ready for the expansion now. It is too late. Huh? Uh, no, no, no. No land is to be sold anymore. If Jeku is interested in expanding his business, let him source for money. If he wants to sell any land, let him sell any land that I don't know. Not any of the family lands. Okay? Uh, but at least give him the right to sell his own land. So uh, the money he gets from there, he will use an expansion. Jeku, your son, has no land to sell. Uh, we should not be holding this discussion. Jehu, your son, is a son to a son of this family. He is not an original son of the family. And therefore, he should not be discussing anything concerning land with the originals. I am the owner of all the lands. And I should not be discussing land issue with Jehu, your son. It's not even what I'm trying to say. Hey, what I'm, what, I'm, you don't know what you're saying. You should put your mouth and things are falling out. You are talking nonsense. I should not be discussing land with Jehu. Yeah, because he has no land anywhere. I am the owner of all the lands. I am the only surviving son of our father. The original son of the family. I am the owner of everything. Don't discuss this with me again. Thank you very much. You don't understand. Hey, 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 hey. You don't understand anything. Shut up. Mama, 
Look, I'm sorry. I beg you. Forgive me. I'm sorry for not believing in you. Sorry, sorry for doubting you. Sorry for causing you pain. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I overreacted. I was angry. I was hurt. I was pained. I know, but I'm sorry. Norma Biko, please forgive me. Please, please. My life has not remained the same since you and I parted ways. I have missed you every single day. Sometimes I wake up with heartache. I just knew that I couldn't continue to live without you. Because they are not. Huh? If you throw me away, who would accept me? If you leave me, who would I be with? Please, I know that you have a good heart. Please. I am here crying out to you because I'm tired of living alone. I'm tired of living by myself. Please, I beg you. I still do not know. Where did I go wrong? You, you did not go wrong. You, you didn't go wrong. I, 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 I was wrong. I overreacted. I should have listened to you. You were not wrong. Do you understand? That like you were not wrong. It was me. Please. Please. Noma, please, Dahl. Please. I'm begging you, please. So, if, if I forgive you, what happens? What if, next? If you if you forgive me, I'll make it up to you. I'll spend the rest of my life making it up to you. I just want us to go back to the way we used to be. I just want us to love each other like our next breath depends on it. Biko, no. Biko, Zia, Biko. I'm begging you. <laughs> Please take me back. We love each other. How? After everything? After everything? Noma. Noma, don't punish me now. The guy called you baby right in front of me. He called my woman baby. But I was trying to explain to you. I was trying to tell you. I tried to talk to you, but you just wouldn't listen to me. You had already made up your mind to leave me. That was why you didn't want to listen to no, me. No, I, I should have given you the benefit of the doubt, but I did not do that. My fault. Because as we live, we learn. I am a man who has learned. Please. Please, give me a chance and experience a better man. Please, give me a chance and I will love you much more than I used to. Please, give me a chance. Give me another chance in your life. No, I will die. You, I cannot live without you. No, ma, please. No, ma, please. I don't even know what to say to you. Don't, don't say that you still love me, and that you still believe in what we have, and that you give me a chance to make it up to you. I promise you. <laughs> Ombia, should I come and hold you? I have missed you. All this time without you has been nothing short of torment. Because, yeah. Let me hug you. Listen, mm -hmm. you are my nyere nyere. <laughs> and I have always wanted to be the only one that put that smile on your face. <laughs> you are so beautiful. You are so sweet. <laughs> Papa. What is going on here? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you. I want to see you outside now. Baba, Baba.
What are you doing with that girl? Babana, she is my girlfriend. And I have been meaning to introduce her to you. Are you sick in the head? No, when did you come back? What do you know about this place? Did, did they swear for all of you that you must tag along with a woman? You have, you have not even known anything that you are already carrying a woman all about. Are you okay? Babana, I have grown now. I need the Yaniya for myself. I may decide to get married to Mudo now and it will be very difficult for me to get a wife. God, God, God. What did I do to deserve this? What offense did I commit? Marriage again? In this house, marriage again? Babana. Don't say, say that as if you don't know what I'm saying. Are you not supposed to settle down to understand what is happening here? What young men are doing? Are you not supposed to understand the politics of this town? Look at young men. They will just lock themselves the inside the house and they are making money from their computer. Are you not supposed to be learning that kind of thing? You have not done anything. You are talking about a woman immediately. Are you okay? But, but I have already understand this town already. You don't have anything. You don't Stay away from that neck. She is not good for you. Don't provoke me. Why don't you abandon me? What's this? She is my girl. I'm. I'm not going to leave her. Why, why, why did Ganinya not know the ghost? Hey! Ah, my brother! How are you doing? This is beautiful. Ah. <laughs> this beautiful Ganinya is the man that I want to marry. Yes. Well, I, this one I do fresh. What, what about the rules? Huh? Rules? Uh, that one. That uh, Rose is one of my many mistakes, but it's in the past now. My brother, uh, is that easy to switch from one to another around here? <laughs> uh, that will be a topic for another time. Eh? Funny do. I'll explain later. Well, like this one, I do fresh. I know, she's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful and fresh. Hey! Well, like, uh, this one, I get down for sister. <laughs> Well, lie, my brother. I'm not calling again. I'm, I'm changing that. I need to go and get this stuff. Hi. Hey. Here we are. Uh, uh, something I want to discuss with you. Go ahead. I'm listening. Um, as you must have learned, I have reconciled with Nyoma. Therefore, I have decided to halt my plan. Um, when it comes to getting married to Rose, I do not want to marry her anymore. I have decided to set her free. So speaking of Norma, I would like to pay her bride price before the end of next month. I'm not sure I heard that. Uncle, what I'm saying is that I, I no longer intend to marry Rose. Hmm? I want to marry Norma. And I want to conclude all that concerns the marriage rights latest by the end of next month. Why the rush, if I may ask? Oh, I'll be going to the city um, very soon. Uh, through the help of an old friend, I got connected to an importer who was looking out for trusted agents to help market his, his new product that I had shipped into the country. So I have been shortlisted for employment. But I want to get married before going to the city. So I, I should understand this explanation to mean you have decided to go to the city with your wife. Oh, no, not now, Uncle. Um, I have to get to the city. I have to get the job. I have to settle in, you know, and then I'll return to, to the village to take Norma with me. But I don't want to go to the city unmarried. I want to. I want to know that I have crossed that line. You know, I, I want to go to the city as a married man. Well, if you will listen to me as your uncle, I will advise you. Seeing that you have this wonderful business offer before you, go to the city. Start that business and give your best into that business. And by the time you are stabilized. In the business, you can then come back and uh, marry Norma. Uh, what about that? Uh, uh, no, uncle, I don't agree. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go to the city um, on Mari. Plus, Norma has a lot of suitors coming for her. I, I want to marry her quickly. I, I don't want to lose her. I wouldn't want you <laughs> to allow that girl force you into playing that card. Any woman who truly loves you it will wait for you until you, you are back. Any woman who will put you under this pressure, set this kind of high jump for you, to marry her immediately because too many suitors are coming, it's not good for you. And if that is the reason you want to end up with a number as fast as possible, then I will advise the leader. I've had enough. I have indulged you enough. I want you to stop messing with my son. Allow my son to marry whoever he has decided to get married to. It's his decision and not yours. He's the one to live with this person and not you. Allow him make his own decisions. I'm begging you. Just look at, look at the person I'm trying to help. Look at the way she's sounding. It is so obvious from the way you are talking now that you don't even know anything at all. Yes, I don't know anything. But I'm old enough to know when someone is messing with my son. Leave my son alone to make his decisions. Let him get married to whomever he wants. No, no, listen. No, I want you to stop and allow him to make his decision. Listen to anyone in Bamele. I need him to understand this. I am still the man of this house. And my world is final. You have to listen to me. I am going to advise you. It is either you will continue to gang up with your son to disobey me, push me to the wall, and I'm going to show both of you that I am that devil both of you are fearing. Or you better sit your son down, talk some sense into him for him to start to behave like a normal human being. The choice is yours. And what if you leave my son alone? Allow him to get married. He doesn't need your permission to choose a wife. It's his wife, his decision. I don't know why you think that he needs your opinion in making this decision. I want him to get married with Wolfie. There's a reason I'm tolerating you. And that reason is because you have been very reasonable. Be very lenient like a good woman, like a wife. That's why I've been tolerating you. But if you're telling me now that you have changed, that you cannot look me in the face and be talking anyhow, then I am going to show you the other side of me, Makachineke. You are not going to like that side. You don't like that side. Well, if you don't want the whole community, the whole village to gather for you and I, leave my son alone. I don't know why you don't want him to get married. Leave him to make his decision. He's grown enough to make his decision as a man. He doesn't need you into this decision. Allow him to get married to whoever he wants to marry. Leave him alone. Listen to me. Don't provoke me. Stop pushing me to the wall because I am going to turn you off. To turn you off is very simple. Don't make me do it. Save my son. You know, I had wanted to come and see your people earlier so that I can pay your bride price. But my mother is saying that I should hold on for now so that we can sort out the issues between my uncle and I. That she intends to talk to our king's men to have a word with him. Yes. I actually think that's a good idea because I wouldn't want to marry you without his consent. You know he's like a father to you. Well? But I really need all those things to be sorted out so that we can get married as soon as possible. Me too. Me too. Huh? I miss you every day. Huh? I miss you too. See how beautiful you are. <laughs> Sometimes I look at you like this, I just go like, yeah. Mm. This is all for me. <laughs> all for <laughs> you, baby. Uh, uh, I was going to ask you when you came to the house the other day. How about you, Nasa? Don't make your face like that. Calm down. Have you forgiven her? It's, it's important to know that you, you have forgiven her. Forgiven her? Anyways, after all, all she even did to me, I know that she hurt you, but have you forgiven her? I will try. I will forgive her, but I will never forget. I'm not asking you to forget, but you have to forgive. Huh? Forgive. So you don't live with that burden. 
but you must also not forget because if you forget you leave yourself open and then the enemy would come back the second time and hurt you even more and this time the pain might be worse exactly hmm? exactly but forgive and then be careful at the same time okay i i will forgive that's why i get but i won't forget you know they say yeah. that those that eat through the spirits should use a long fork so i will forgive her but never will i forget you're not never. only beautiful but you also have wisdom huh? my love if beauty and brain was a person that would be me that is it that's it since you and your son have decided not to obey me, I have no business keeping both of you in this house. And I know not, Paula. Listen to me. You have to go to the boss quarter and begin to live there. If the boss quarter is not okay for you, then you have to relocate. Go to that goat house. Your, your little husband left behind and find a way to live there. That's what you're supposed to be living for now going forward. Papa, what? Don't, what are you doing? don't get involved in this at all. You see this woman and her son, they have decided to disobey me. And I'm going to show them that no matter how tall your country decides to grow, it can never outgrow them who planted it. I am the owner of this place and what I say stands. They can never live here. So get out of this place. This is totally wrong. You can't do this to them. They, they are family. They are not family. Who told you they are family? Are you the one that will tell me who the family is now? These people have rebelled against me by doing what I said they should not do. And they are telling me that they are family. As far as I'm concerned, they are no longer family and they are no longer required to live anywhere around me. So say my point. Well, if all I have done since you brought us into this house is to respect and obey you. But one thing I will not stand and what you do is to mess with my son. Did you hear that? Yes. If you like to send us to exile, we will go. But I will not watch you mess my son up. You won't mess with my son. This is only the beginning when I'm family. By the time I, I am done with you, eh, you will know that that young family is very small. Your family is too small. I will deal with you. Papa, I'm with how? You're with who? Are you mad? Papa. I said, shut up! Who will give me food? What did you just say? Are you sick in the head? So food is a problem now. After all this is I just explained, you're talking about food. Papa, my, my own concern is food. Do you know, my friend? How can food be your only concern, you idiot? I'm, I'm a boomer. I will do whatever it will take. Hmm. Jacob cannot disgrace me just like that and go scot free. No. Uh, and as for Norman Neka, they must surely pay for the atrocities towards me. What are you doing? This is my family house. Your family house that you abandoned years ago. Why come back now? Huh? I am here to warn my sister to be very careful and stop doing stupid things because of men. Mm. Augustina, listen and listen. Hmm? However I intend to live my life is my business. You get it? I don't want to live the lonely life like you live. No! I am approaching 33. You know that. No man has asked me out. And the only one I managed to get that loves me, you want me to let him go? That's not possible. Do you want me to be like you? No, I cannot. Huh. The who is not your man and will never be. Your man will come at the right time, at the appropriate time. You will not even stress because the time is right. That man that is yours will come. 
only thing you need here is patience. Patience. Because the same, the patient dog eats the fattest bone. Hmm. That's a mistake. It's no longer like that. A patient dog starves to death. Yes. Augustina, I told you, in fact, you know, I am approaching 83 years old. Hmm? I am no longer a kid. You get that? So that your false hope will not solve anything. Please just leave. <laughs> leave me with my thoughts. Oya guru chi yuzo. If you refuse, if you refuse to adhere and listen to my advice, Rosalie, Rosalie, you will live to regret it for the rest of your life. You will live to regret it for the rest of your life. Shalom. Shalom. You will live to regret it. To a lonely lifestyle. Imagine. Well, uh, I must have to say that I am very surprised with this visit. Seriously, I am surprised. I hope all is well. Uh, all is well, uh, but you know that the tour does not run during the day in vain. Our kinsman sent us to come and see you because your late, your late brother's wife made a complaint against you. Yes, we are equally surprised to hear this complaint against you. We know that your family is one of the best families that is in this town that we use, for example, to other people. So we decided to come and hear from you first before we take any action. Abi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, there wouldn't be any need to take any action because uh, I am just hearing there was a complaint against me. The truth of the matter is that there should not be any complaint because I'm doing my best. Since I lost my brother, I have taken it as a responsibility to take care of his widow and the son. I have actually taken them as my, as my family, as my wife and, and my son. And... Uh, in all honesty, I am actually surprised to hear this. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm not aware of it. Obuifi, everybody in this community knows your kindness towards your brother's widow and the son. But her complaint cannot be overlooked because of that. What she complained about is that you are not a lying Jeku to marry the woman of his choice. And that is the problem. And we are here to know why. Yeah. My brethren, when we leave to Kulano to pray, we always pray that our goodness should not be used against us. But you can now see that that is what I'm facing here. Because I want the best for Jeku. Jeku wants to pick a wife. We all, we, you will agree with me that there are too many evil women out there. And if you're not careful, somebody will bring one of them into the family and that evil woman will destroy the family. So what I'm doing is that I am guiding Jeku to marry the best of wives. That is it. And it is not clear for the matter that they have come to complain. That means that that my goodness has been taken the wrong way by them. Obuevi, we are sent here to tell you to allow him marry a woman of his own choice. He's man enough to take that decision by himself. Secondly, if anything goes wrong with that decision he has taken, he will be man enough to face the music. That is it. It's okay. No problem about that. So it's something I've already decided. Oh, look at even the Jeku is here. And the issue here is that I have already given my consent to Jeku. Jeku knows that he should proceed to marry any woman of his choice. He said the decision I have already made. I, I, I'm sorry, Uncle, but you never mentioned that to me. Well, I was actually hoping to tell you that today, 
but the opportunity didn't provide itself. Now that the elders are here, I am telling you, because I know you are angry. That should be the reason you started calling me uncle. All of a sudden, that respect you used to give me, you have taken it back. And I am trying to tell you that there is no need. You can proceed. Select any woman that you want to make your wife. Brief me, and I'm going to support you. So that the family, the, the family synergy can be restored. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, my elders. <laughs> Uncle, thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I told you. Oh, 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 you never allow any woman in this household. No, war is not good. And that is the reason I preach peace anywhere I go. It's peace. Oh, that's good. As it, at it, it is very clear now that despite the fact that I want peace in that house, that I don't want peace. Jeku wants to continue to disobey me and break me down and destroy me. That is why he has decided to proceed. To marry that same woman who is going to put the last nail on their father's coffin and not my own. I have come. Please. I need you to make a consultation for me. Tell me exactly what I must do now. Because this thing they are planning must not work. Listen to me. Listen. Iba kina bampu na jo hebi na de. To try to feel a hollow sack. It's like one searching for something where there is nothing. God, you will understand now. Frankly speaking, I am done with you. Yes, my ministration to you is long over. I have finished with you long ago. As a matter of fact, I'm still surprised why you still come here every now and then. Oh, boy, I come here every now and then because you are the one who ministers to me. You are the seer that I know. And there is no way you can say our ministration has ended when the problem has not been solved. It is obvious that uh, maybe you are not in the mood of ministration now. I'm not in a hurry. I am going to wait until the ministration comes. Because you see this problem? We are going to solve it. I call this meeting because I want to correct an impression. There was never a time I was against Joku getting married. I am being misunderstood here. What I had always wanted was the best for him. But as I am being misunderstood, I needed to clarify things. I have already given him my blessing before the elders. And I am repeating the same thing here now. At any time you decide, any woman you have chosen for yourself, who is going to spend the rest of her life with you as your wife? Whoever you decide, good by me. Just let me know and all of us will. My husband, thank you so much. You are the best husband anyone can ask for. Honestly, I thank you. We know that you have our interests at heart. And we want to also apologize. In any way, we must have said something or done anything that got you angered. Uh, we are sorry. Right, Jacob? It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Hey, we are, this is how it's supposed to be. We are one family. Actually, one big family. And we should not be having all these problems. Yeah? So you, you make up your mind and uh, 
we, we, we get done with it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, Thank you. That's how we should be. Thank you. Do you know, I actually just perceived your cologne from here. I had to turn. You could smell me from afar, baby. I could smell you from a distance. Ah, come here. Your cologne is so sweet, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. Have you been waiting for too long? Oh, yes, I have. But it's fine. You're here now. Yes, I'm here now and I'll make up for it. You know why? Because I have good news. You have good news? Yep. Really? What could that be? My very difficult uncle has finally given his consent. Blessings. It says that you and I can get married. <laughs> <laughs> this is good news. Are you serious? Yes. So finally, we are getting married. Right away, baby. Oh my God. This right is good away. News. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Wow. You know that life will be very sweet with you. I know. You can see it. I know. I've always known that. I hope so you I am can about see it. to live the life with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? What? I want to tell you something. Where is that parent who wants to be? Come out, let me see you. Yes, so hey. <laughs> hey! Hey, look at me. Give me some spinning. Hey, married to to be. Yes, so Jack, who's wife to be? <laughs> I am so happy for you. Thank you. Wait, oh, so finally, mm -hmm. you're getting married to the love of your life. Oh, yes, I am. And guess hey. what? I am like the happiest hey. woman hey. in this world. I like, know. not just this continent. Mm -hmm. The happiest woman in this whole hey. world right now. Hey. Oh, my God. My friend, mm. I am so happy for you. Thank you. You're hey. very thank no, you. No, pray for me. Pray for me so I'll be next in line. Mm -hmm. So we can do everything together. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of oh, course. Do. Why not? Why not? But do Griffy. He's not always happy whenever he sees me with his son. I don't know. But I'm sure that we'll overcome. Just like you and Jeku did. Yes, that's <laughs> the spirit. That is the spirit. That is the faith I want you to have. Just hold on. Don't give up. Fight for your man. The man will get tired. He doesn't have a choice. Okay? So. And you will get married too. I pray so. <laughs> wait, I pray wait, 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 wait. Let me even ask you, Seth. So you like this. <laughs> so you can fall in love just like that. Eh? <laughs> ah, my friend, I'm even surprised at myself. Oh. Ah. Honestly, even me and even you are going to fall in love. But my friend, if you see this guy, he's so nice. He's so sweet. Even you will fall in love. Hey, 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 I go love. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's getting married. Look at you. <laughs> Congratulations, my Thank friend. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for you. <sighs> and don't worry, your marriage is coming next after Jiko and I. Hey, okay. Amen. No. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. And we will be co wives. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm happy, happy for, for you too. <laughs> love of your life. <laughs> love of your life. <laughs> <sighs> you know, mm -hmm. I'm really happy for Inoma and your brother. Hmm. I'm happy for them as well. You're next in life. Yes. <laughs> as you can see, I'm already warming up. I don't have time again. Wow. Hey. <laughs> nice. So, who is this? Lucky woman. Neka. Mm -hmm. You want to know this lucky woman? Yes, now. I want to know because I thought you had no woman in your life. But here you are telling me that you're warming up for marriage. So, tell me who this lucky woman is that has stolen your heart. Okay. Uh -huh. Neka. Mm. I can as well assure you that this beautiful woman mm -hmm. is seated right here in front of me. Wearing red with beautiful hair. <laughs> <laughs> the most beautiful, intelligent, mm. kind-hearted <laughs> old man in the whole world. Stop. You're joking, right? 
Mm -hmm. Jodine? No. Mm -hmm. I'm seriously in love with you. Mm -hmm. For real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you know that you cannot play with something like this. So. Nick, I'm not playing with you. I'm in love with you, and I will soon make you my wife. Immediately I'm settled. I believe you are going to wait for me. Yeah. Wait for me? I love you too. Hey! So I'll wait for you whenever you're ready. Oh! You made me the most happiest man on earth. Really? I'm telling you. <laughs> Papa? Listen. Let me go and answer him. I don't know why he's killing me. Okay? I, I will see you tomorrow. Well, I, I don't know why you are dimming your face. Why you are wearing this face as if you are if you are angry? Is it to make me not to say what I want to say? Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm going to say it. I feel like I've warned you before. Stop this rubbish you are doing with women. I don't want you to provoke me. You are free to you know do something with any of them and to get that one pregnant. Any child or any children that will come from that one, we are going to take care of that. But stop all this nonsense you are doing with women that you are telling me about you might marry or whatever. I've warned you before, and I'm warning you for the last time. Stop it. Papa, what's wrong did women do to you that you have chosen to destroy my happiness? Eh? I am not destroying anything. I am actually trying to you know, to protect you, to help you, to save you. Women are evil. You don't know. I am the one who knows. And I am telling you that there is no way I will allow you bring any evil into this house. I've given you my approval. Go ahead and play with women, as many of them as you want. Get all of them pregnant. And whatever amount of children that they are going to bear for you, let all of them come. I will personally finance their education to whatever level. But since this nonsense you are telling me that you want to make any of them your wife, that wife is where I have a problem. And you must stop it. Papa, it's not going to work. What? Yes. Meta is my nyanya, and I'm going to make her my wife as soon as I have the money. No, you're not going to disobey me. How do I am your father? And there is no way you will do anything outside of what I just said. Now let me even expand it. Forget about it. Just, just women. You can actually bring, you know, do anything with prostitutes. You do know how not. You have my proven. Go ahead and do anything you want to do with them. As long as it is going to lead to pregnancy. Once they be on that side, bring the child back here. I will take care of the children. But if you are telling me anything about wife, no proof. I know what I'm, I know what I'm telling you this here for you. Don't, don't try this nonsense. is my I love her. And as soon as I have the money, I'm, I'm getting married to her. Okay. As soon as you have the money, yes. you will get married to her. Yes. I will prove to you that I'm your father. You are not going to get that money. Yeah. Ah. Baba, I, I, I will go and say you are I'm going to say you are You will say the land. Let me kill what I'll wear. You said the land. You just sell land with the mouth. You just sell land, you just point at land, and the land is so huge. You think they sell land by just looking at the land? They have the paper to sell any land? Do you even know how to how they sell land in this area? Why does my father hate marriage so much? 
First, it was Jegu. I know it's a dream, but it seems so real. I want you to be prayerful and be very careful too. Oh? Mm. Chikujiko, what do you mean by mm? Oh, you just said it's a dream. It's a dream, Mama. It's, it's a dream. Uh, it's just a dream. That's what it is. A dream. I, why do people pay so much attention to superstitious stuff? It's, it's just a dream. You could stop being stubborn. I'm not, I'm, don't you know that dreams do come true? Mama, mm -hmm. I have told you. Give these things that you that you will believe in. When it's your time to go, there is nothing you do that would stop you. You will go. And when it's not your time to go, no matter what happens around you, nothing will happen to you. Why? Because it is not your time. Mama, it is not my time yet. Nothing will happen to me. You could, you could listen to your mother. Say you should pray about it and be careful. Enugu. Did you hear me, Chukujiko? Mm, yes, okay. Okay. Is that how you answer someone who you I said, I said, did you did hear me? I said, eh, um. Did you hear me? Chukujiko, give him Yes, Mama. I'll oh, thank you. Um, what can I do for you? I'd like to talk to you. Please, can you give me a listening ear? Please. Rose, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm here to beg for your forgiveness. I know I offended you, I lied, and I deceived you. For that, I am sorry. Please, forgive me. Okay? Is that all? No. Um, I recently got born again. Yes, I gave my life to Christ and I am now a new creation. And for me to move on, I need your forgiveness. Please. Oh, it's fine. You have my forgiveness. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. You are fine. Okay. You are welcome. <laughs> you have my forgiveness. Uh, not much damage was done. You know, uh, I still have my woman, so I forgive you. It's okay. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> um, when are you two getting married? Mind your business, Rose. You said you're a born again Christian. Yes, now. I am. Good. Go back home. Mind your Bible. I will. Thank you. Uh, may the peace of the Lord be with you. I'll be with you more. 
Bye bye chị Nguyễn Nguyễn Yeah. Yes. I had to watch that again. Okay. Yeah. It looks like there is a problem. Huh? See, I had a dream. Another dream? I'm telling ah. you. In this oh. dream, in this particular dream, you were inside a pit, a very deep pit. And you were calling me for help, calling me for help. I was trying, you know, I tried my best to help you, but I could not. I couldn't. Wait, wait. Me? Mm. Inside the pit? Yes, very your... deep. Why didn't you get a ladder so that I can climb out? Huh. How, how would I even think of that now? You know how dreams happen now? The way the dream happened there, I couldn't even think. I was just in a dream. I was you. I was you know you couldn't think. You know why? Because it is a dream. It's just a dream. That's what it is. Why are you worrying too much about this? It is a dream. Dream. Wait, I... It's nothing serious. It's a dream. Relax. Wait, I... Are you being serious right now? Of course, I, I, I'm very serious. Now you push to stop making a mountain out of a molehill. It's a dream. It's. Hmm? Oh God, you can't say this. Hey, you have to learn to be serious now. Take things seriously but sometimes, Jacob. I'm taking this seriously. No, you're not. I'm telling you what I saw. That dream felt. It felt real. I know you don't believe in things like this, but sometimes just, just pay attention. You never know. See, eh? I, I feel like there's danger looming around. Danger, danger. Something is wrong. Danger. Joko, please. Please, let's pray. We need to pray. Mm -hmm. You want to pray? Let's pray about this. You can go ahead and Something pray is... now. Well, you know they say a man should always find a prayerful woman. It's a good thing that you're praying. I'm not against prayers. Huh. You okay. can pray for the two of us. But right now, I don't have time for that. Eh? Sweetheart, I'm running around. I'm planning our wedding. Eh? You need to relax. I don't want things like this to distract you and I. But, but, but we need to be sure that we are doing things right now. No, we're doing things right. You only had a dream. It's nothing. Eh? Oh, I'm scared. I'm Please. not scared. I'm not scared. You Please. can be scared, but I will be strong for the both of us. I'm not scared. Relax. Oh, eh? God. Eh? You could be cool. Ah, you a very nice yellow outfit. This is the top I bought you now. Eh? Yellow goes well with your skin. I know. Eh? Thank how you. Can you go? Happen, no, no, eh? now I know I'm here imagining how you'll be on that day. Hey, I got a deal with you. Chico, I'm talking about something serious yeah. now. I'm, I'm also talking about uh, getting married to you and spending the rest of my life with you. It's a serious baby. Mm -hmm. I got a deal with you. Look at you. Eh? And I thought probably I'm going to know your cleavage. I like him. Eh? I'll see him. Chico, what is this I'm now? Let me this go back to the shop and do business. You see the man that supplies us cement? He was just approaching when I was leaving. I told him to wait for me. Let me please see the love of my life and watch back. Let me go and do business. Stop dreaming. Wait, you're going just like that? But I have to go and make money. I see why I'm just like that. Eh? Let me go. Eh? I have to dream. Mama, please. Please try and talk to him. Talk to Jeku. Let's postpone this whole marriage plans for now. You know, this dream is really giving me cause for worry. This dream has come not once, not even twice. Really, I'm worried. I'm really worried about it. Please, Mama, please, let's just postpone this marriage plans. Mm. Try and convince him. I have been talking. You know, Chuku Jeku, my son, is a very stubborn boy. But I'll continue to talk until the day he listens to me. I'll continue to talk. <sighs> Me too. I'll keep talking to him too. I'll keep talking till he listens. You oh. know, let's get to the root of this matter first. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Then every other thing can come afterwards. So that we can be sure that we are all safe. Yeah? Exactly. This whole thing is tearing me apart. Honestly, I... It's tearing me up.
Hey, hey. Good afternoon, Gwefe. What is good about this afternoon? Are you not the same girl who has been coming to my house to see my son? Yes, sir. You are the one? Yes, sir. My name is Sineka, sir. I'm the daughter of... Shut uh... up. You think I don't know you? I know everybody in this town. I just stopped you to warn you. I don't even know where you're going, whether you're going to my house, but I'm telling you right now. Stop fooling yourself with my son. I don't want you to get any close to my son again. Sir, but I love your son. And your son loves me too. In fact, we are even planning on getting married and settling hey, down. Hey, hey, hey. Stop deceiving yourself. Is it not my son we're talking about? My own son. I am the father and I'm telling you here and now that there is no way you will ever end up as his wife. He will never marry you. Stop deceiving yourself with him. I'm not going to warn you again. But, hey, yeah, yeah, there's no but. Don't tell me about him. I will not repeat this warning. That was the same thing he was doing for me, you know, doing to me and Juku at that time. But I mean, you still, he will get over it. He doesn't have a choice. What, what is it now? I don't think so. It's not the man I saw on my way here. He will never come around. He will. And I love Ufunedu. And I want him to marry me. Okay. But That's his father. The... That's the thing. Since you said it now that you love him, that love you have for him should make you hold on to him. Just mm -hmm. hold on. You can you just leave me alone? What is it now? No, ma, Hi, what are you even doing here? Go now. No, we cannot be friends anymore. Go. No, ma, please, I'm begging you. It's not me that did this thing. It's not me. Eh? No, ma, it's the devil that did it though. It's not me, Bikonu. Bikonu, I will hurt you again because you no oh no. I wish in your mad dog is not a cookie. I wish it was Bulldog, I would have sent it after this Jezebel. No man, don't mind that. Hi, what? Don't listen to her, please now. See, tell her to stop touching me. Stop no, touching no, me. She says she stopped touching her. Are you deaf? Let me tell you why I did it. Mm. Eh? Let me tell you why I did it. Eh? You know, after my mother's death, nobody gives me money again. Nobody. Not even that stupid boyfriend of mine. Eh? I needed money for my pad, my pants, my toothbrush, all those things. And that's why I did it now, because no. That even makes it worse. Hey. Like you did it just because you wanted to buy things like toiletries. Uh, can you so that means you can sell me. Exactly. No. That's what it means. No, no, no. Okay. No, now. I can't do that. Eh. Uh -uh. I can't do it, Bikonu. Hey, okay. Bikonu. So, since you needed money, why did you not ask me? Mm. Yes, why did you ask me? Gosh, have I, I ever refused you anything before? I didn't know you have that kind of money now. How would you know? Okay, no. you did not know. Why did you not ask me first? Then let me tell you I have or I don't have. But I don't know, Bikonu. Oh. You know what they say. Trust broken cannot be repaired. So there's no need. Come and be going. No, be going. Now, eh? She says she come and be going. What are you still doing here? Mm. You got to know me before this girl. Yes. Eh? Mm. No, okay, you know what? No, ma, please. Just forgive me. But don't trust me again. Mm -hmm. eh? Don't trust me again. You see this trust? I must work hard for this trust. I promise you. Because yeah, no, ma, please, I don't understand. understand. No, ma, I don't understand no, you. Ma, Why are you even here listening to this backstab? No, Why are you here listening to her? If you don't do, I will not go here. I will not if you go. like, lick on the sand. No, ma, here. lie down on the floor. Lick the no, sand ma, too. Me. Don't lie down. No, ma, you see me? No, ma, I'm lying down. down oh. Jehu, I know you have your own money. <laughs> uh, but tradition demands that I must contribute to your marriage. You understand? 
especially for the palm wine that will be used to marry the woman for you. Uh, that, that is why I'm giving you this money. Ah. To add to what you have and go and buy the palm wine. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, speaking of the palm wine, I, I was thinking that uh, it would be better if we buy it on our way to my in-laws place so that that will better carry it, you know, in the same vehicle. We are talking, so, ab we are talking about palm wine. You have to go and buy it now because if you wait until that time you are saying, you may get that place and you will not even see anything to buy. So it's better for you to go and buy it now. We know that we have that one. Be fast about it because we cannot afford to keep your in laws waiting. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just um, get a few things from my woman. Good. But be, be, be very fast about it. Thank you. Be very fast. Okay. I'm rushing off. I want to go and buy the drinks. I'll be, I'll be back soon. Uh, not but, but, but you should have bought these drinks earlier on. You, uh, you cannot uh, keep your in-laws waiting. That's not a good sign. Oh, well, calm down. I've never been married before. I'm just learning of these things. And besides, my uncle said that, uh, that I have to buy it today. Okay, give me the money. I'll go and buy it. Just get prepared. As soon as I get back, we'll leave. Hi, thank you. You're a friend. Because I need to... What? All right, we'll get prepared. All right, thank you. Thank you. You slept here? No, no. Uh, I came early. You know, today is my friend's day. Oh, very thoughtful of you. <laughs> nice of you. So, has Jeffu gone to buy the drink I asked him to go and buy? Uh, I told him to continue with the preparations. Let me go and buy the drink myself. I don't understand. Sir? I asked Jeffu to go and buy the drink and he decided to send somebody else and sit back. Where does that happen? Uh, sir? But you know, you, you, you're not deaf, right? Where does it happen that a man who is getting married will not go and buy the drink to buy his woman? He will send another man to go and buy the drink? Uh, and you are going with him? Uh, sir. Can I have the money he gave you to go and buy the drink? The money? Yes, the money he gave you. Can I have it? Mm, mm, I'm coming. Uh, the money. buy your drink, the drink with which you marry your woman. What happened eventually? Uh, uncle, but there's nothing wrong with Obonia helping me to buy the drinks. I, I'm, I'm still busy myself putting no, things together. No, Obonia should be the one helping you with all those other things you are putting together. But the specific task of you, going to buy the drink with which you marry your wife, must be done by you. Nah, nah I don't understand that rule you just made upside now. It's strange. Is it not another man that bought the drinks I used to marry my own wife? Well, what is wrong if I go and buy drinks for Jeku? No, are, are you challenging me? I'm not challenging you. No, you are standing here looking at your friend challenging me. Uh, 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 Uncle, don't worry. I'll go and buy the drinks. Uh, you should. Can I have the money? Yes, this is the money. He has the money. Though. Okay. It's fine. Obo, don't worry. I'll buy the drinks. Uncle, I'll be back. Come on, buy the drinks. Don't worry. I'll be fast. I'll be back. Eh? I'll wait for you outside. No, no, no. You are not waiting for him outside. Go inside. And begin to do those things he was doing. That's what you should be doing as, as, as a friend. How can you go and buy a drink for a man that's getting married? What's wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey! Shut up! Uh, maybe we should just go to other places to sell drinks. Uh, how can you say that? Do you know how many places they sell for wine? <laughs> Why would you even do this today of all days? Look at Edas and her family. Everybody, we are all waiting for him to come. We, we can't afford to keep his in laws waiting. Does it make any sense? Does it make any sense? No, he's not, he's not making any sense. Good afternoon, young man. How will you do your help? I'm looking for Papa Jeku. Uh, Jeku's father is late. But I am the one who is his father now. Is there, is there any problem? Did you see Jeff? I'm sorry, ma. Um, Jeff was involved in an accident. Eh? What? 
I'm sorry, he couldn't make it. Hey! 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 Talk to you. Sit down. What is it? Papa. It's been weeks my cousin died. And I have been looking forward to the promise you made to me. They are not forthcoming. Papa, I want to know your plans. Which promise are you talking about? Papa, you promised to sell the land and give me some money so that I can start up my palm oil business. And then you decided to choose women over the business. Yes. I was one who promised that I will, I will sell land, give you the money for you to start a oil business. But then you looked at the business and said, no, I prefer women. That's what you did. And I decided to lock up the business. Am I a bad man? Papa, I don't understand what you mean by you decided to lock up the business. Have you not been mingling with the same girl I told you to stay away from? Even as of today, needs the time. You will still mean good with that same girl. And now you want me to sell that and give you for you to get a man. And you even have the mind to open your mouth to tell me that you want to marry her. The same woman I told you to avoid. How can I do that? How is that possible? I don't really understand. Now, how can you even think of that? Hey, Papa, how can you expect your only son of all they do to stay without a woman? I did not tell you to stay without a woman. Often do I know you are not gay, just like your father. Have I been staying with that woman? No! What I told you is that you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with many of them. Get them pregnant. And if they deliver children for you, bring them to me and I will train them. That's what I told you. But stay away from telling me anything that has got to do with I want to marry. If somebody is my wife, I don't want to hear that. Didn't I tell you that? Father, you said so. Yeah. But my question here is, how can a, a reasonable woman being do that? No, the question that is begging for an answer is, how can a reasonable human being not listen to the father? How? Papa, promise is promise. I need that money so that I can start up my morning business, please. Promise is not promise. My own promise comes with condition that somebody is listening to me. If anybody that I make promise to is not listening to me, I take my promise back. Papa, no, no, I need, I need, I need the money. I need to start up that that money business, please. Come and take it, there. Come and take it. No, no, no. Come and force me and collect the money. What women will do to you? They have not even started. Hey.
the government to do here in this compound? Were you not the same person I told to stop coming here? Jehu is dead and gone. Are you not supposed to move on with your life? What are you still doing here? Sir, I, I only came to help Mama out. And who told you she needs help? I don't understand what is going on. This very energy you are spending coming here every day to make a fool of yourself. Are you not supposed to be using this energy to see if you can find somebody who will marry you out there? Did anybody tell you I cannot take care of Jeku's mother? Sir, I... I know Jeku is gone. But I cannot just... leave her like that. Mama is like a mother to me. She's not your mother. Don't even say that. Go and take care of your own mother and stop doing this. I'm not going to warn you again, oh. Stop coming here to make you fool of yourself. Your mother is the one that needs all your help. I can take care of this place. Don't come here again. Say, I'm not going to warn you again, oh. No matter whatever thing your name is. Stop coming here. Stop coming this place. Say, Papo. Oh. How are your wife and kids? They're fine. <laughs> Norma, I spoke with Mama Jeku the other day and she said you stopped visiting. Why? She's very worried. Going there is causing a lot of problems for me. I just had to stay away. But you know that woman needs you. Hmm? You know she needs you. You can't stop checking up on her. At least that will help her recuperate faster. You know, it's just that this whole problem, everything that is going on, it's, it's getting too much and it's weighing me down. Anyway, before you make any decision, think about Jeku. What will Jeku want you to do in a situation like this? Jeku will be angry with you for, for abandoning his mother just like that. Think about it. Don't see this as if I'm trying to avoid you. But this is the best thing for you and I. But I love you. And I know that you love me too. Please, don't push me away. Please, I beg you. There are wonderful men out there uh, that will worship the, the ground you step on. You are a very beautiful girl. I, I don't think that I deserve you. Okay. If there's anything that I did, I mean, we can say to it, we can talk about it. Is there something wrong? Tell me. There is nothing wrong. Then what? I can't continue with this relationship with you. Please don't say that. You know that you promised to marry me. You promised to get married to me. Yes, I did. Then please don't leave me. Please, I beg you, please. I love you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I can continue with this relationship again. I'm sorry. Just t take heart. Yes. I'm happy now. Hey! Hey, wait. What is that? Ah. I don't understand. Why did you lock my gate? Papa, nobody is coming in here again. And, I, and I, I'm just coming back from where I told Neka it is over. Say, Bobe, between me and her. Yes. It is over between you and her. Yes. And you lock the gate. She, she, she's coming after you or what? No, Papa. No one is coming here again. Nobody's coming here again. 
Yes. So who will open this gate now when somebody comes? Did, did anybody open the gate for you? No. So why would you lock the gate? <laughs> Should I go and unlock the gate? Why? Why are you actually? Why are you excited? Yes, Papa. I am excited because I have told Neka it is over between me and her. So I am here now so that you can give me the money. You promise me, and I will go and take you care of myself. Yes. <laughs> Well, this information that you have ended things with the neck is just coming to me. You have to give me time to monitor what you just said and be sure you have actually ended everything with her. Then I will decide on when I will give you the money. But why, why, why are you like this now? Why are you like this? I just told you now that I have ended the relationship between me and the love of my life. I, 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 you are here telling me that you will you, you, you check. Papa, I need this money now so that I can start up my pamoying business. So somebody, somebody is something inside your brain is telling you you can obtain me by three. <laughs> no, no, let me understand. Something inside your brain is telling you you can obtain me by three. You will just come here and lock my gate and tell me I've ended this with a uh, with her and then I'll give you money. It does not happen. Listen, I can always give you money for your upkeep, <laughs> money for your daily expenses. You know, money for you to keep your body and soul together. But the significant business of palm oil, which will require me to sell my land. Oh, I'm not going to sell any land until I'm sure you have actually repented that you have become the man I want you to be. That's only when I will sell the land. This is not a promise you made to me now. And I need this money so that I can start up my business. Well, as I said, I can only take care of you. By the way, if you go to my room now, Draw, draw by my bed. You will see fifteen thousand naira there. Take five thousand naira from the money and go and do your nonsense. Five thousand naira. Come on, go, 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 Hey, I'm collecting all of it. Papa, I'm collecting. I'm collecting all of it. It will not be enough. I'm collecting. You have, you have not been born well to touch anything more than five thousand naira there. You're not allowed. to take any drug. I just want to die. <sighs> Mama, how can you say that now? Don't say that. You won't die. And you know Jeku will not be happy to see you like this. Jeku is no longer here. Jeku is gone. You will not see me again. Mama. I didn't even have a grandchild for me before he died. I want just to die. God knows best. God knows best. Hey, you can't do this to yourself. You will not die. Stop saying this. Please don't talk like this. Please. If you don't want me to talk like this, then give me a grandchild. A grandchild that will continue my husband's lineage. I'm all alone. I'm feeling lonely. Please, my daughter, please. Oh, oh Mama. Mama, you know that's not possible. I wasn't married to Jacob before he died. It won't work. I can still marry you. I can marry you in his absence. It's still the same thing. Oh, to change anything. But honestly, I am being fair here. You know it yourself that you don't have anything more. Remaining here in this house. I am thinking you should go back. Go back to your parents' house. You don't have a son anymore. And your husband is late. And you have an aged mother. I think the best thing for you to do is to leave. Go back and take care of your mother. Instead of staying back here, wasting. Eh? Or the woman. This is my husband's house. I am not going anywhere. This is my house. 
Yes, that's my house. Why can't you ask me to leave my house? Baba, you know. Who put it to my man? God, you don't leave, Baba. Hey, what's up? What's up? Baba, I give you enough money for you to be doing your nonsense outside. Why will you finally bring in an exhibit into my house? Baba, no. This one is not SB, this one is direct machine. Kuru Kuru Kinko machine. Oh, now this one, two more children for West. One shot, three children. Yes. I want to say hi to my father. Good afternoon, sir. I've heard so much about you. Your son has told me so many amazing things, and I'm happy I met you finally. Good afternoon. <laughs> But like, like I said, I'm still like this one is is Tiaruba. Direct machine, you like this one. You know, uh, this one too much good. I hope there is too much food in the house. Because where we are coming back from, we have already finished ourselves. Papa, kiss me. Let's go inside. Let us finish. Come finish it. Very well. Papa. Papa, let us see later. Let me go and that. Only who can matter. So you're really going to allow this? I don't understand. Any woman who can reproduce a child for this family is allowed now. Why are you really meaning into it? And you resisted my son from picking a wife. But I let her around him. Right. I let her give my approval. What did he do? He sped off with that useless car. I pleaded with him to sell. And he refused to sell. That same car finally killed you. Hmm. Don't, don't make me to remember what I've already forgotten. Because had it been I stood my ground, Jehu would not have died. He wouldn't have died. Yeah? I've made up my mind to marry Jehu. Give birth to his kids and just walk away. Listen, girl. I don't want it to be like I'm telling you what to do. But look, this doesn't add up at all. It doesn't make any sense. Chiku is dead and should be forgotten. Why are you trying to do this to yourself? I know what you mean. Believe me, I tried to ignore this, but I just feel this heavy burden on my spirit. I can't even ignore this burden. I need to do this. And I love Jeku. Because of that, I will make the sacrifice for him. As long as it will make him happy wherever he is. Yes. I'll do it. You're wrong. Yes, this will not make him happy. In fact, I know that your parents will never allow you to do this. My parents? Yes. Think about it. My parents know me very well. They know that I am strong-willed, and they know better than to meddle in my life. I see that you have gone mad. You have gone mad. I want to marry Norma for my son, Jeff. Why would you say a thing like that? Now you know why I would say a thing like that. Now, let me tell you something, my young family. I was among the men who married you into this family. In fact, I went with my late brother to go and pay your bride price. So you should be able to know the kind of things you are suggesting in this family, not to think of even carrying them out. Are you sick in the head? How can you say that? Jeku is my son, I have every right as a mother to marry a wife for my son in his absence. I, I'm lonely here. I need a grandchild at least. Okay. I understand where you're coming from. But I think you are going about the solution the wrong way. To solve your loneliness, the best thing you have to do is to pack your things and go back to your parents' house. 
Of course, I give it to you. You have tried your best. You have been an excellent wife, one your family. You have been like a mother to, you know, to the family. But your best was not good enough. You were able to give my late brother just a son. And that son was not able to reproduce another son for the family. So the best thing for you to do to solve your loneliness is to go back to your parents' house. You are still very fresh. <laughs> Look at it. You can still find an old man or even a young man who will be able to remarry you and uh, both of you can start something. Okay? I've given my consent. So you go ahead. I have made up my mind to go ahead with that marriage. And that is my decision. Well, uh, you are free to go ahead and decide something. That is, by the time you are back in your father's house, you can make all the decisions there. In this family, I am the one who decides everything. And I have told you now what I have decided, that you are free to go back to your father's house and continue. I look at you, okay? you are still very fresh. I look at you every day, look at you, you still paint your, your nails. You still paint your fingers and all these things, rub all these things that these small small girls are rubbing. You are still very fresh. So there is no way you cannot find another, you know, young man who will actually, you know, go down with you and, um, you know, hit you so hard. I have, had, I have not begged you before. But if you leave, you will see people who will ask, you know, you to do that. And then you can, you know, reproduce with them. That is what I have decided. And um, that is what you are going to do. Why not? What am I doing here? Does it mean you have decided to render your own life useless? No, does it mean you have no value for your own life at all? Sir, I don't understand. What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. No, ma, I heard you are planning to be married to Jehu in debt. Are you mad? No, are you not scared? Have you bothered to ask yourself what happened to Jehu? Why he died the way he died? And you want to come and become his wife in debt? Don't you have value for your life? Are you, does it mean that you are not bothered about your parents? Sir, I, I promised to do this for Jeku because of the love I have for him. So because of love, you are going to useless your life. You will lose your life because of love. Even if you don't have any value for your life, are you not bothered about your parents? How are they going to feel if what happened to Jekuchu happened to their daughter? Nothing will happen to me, sir. Really? Then let me tell you, I will happen to you. Mama, stay away from my family. Stop thinking about Jeku. Jeku is dead and gone. Let it remain like that. If you continue in this path, you are treading in no man. I will happen to you. If you are not in one work that day. Going. 
Good afternoon. Neck or cake. Sit down. Thank you. I shall say, sit down. You are here to see my son, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But, uh, I just came to give him money that I that I owe him. You came to give my son money? Yes, sir. You owe him some money? Yes, sir. Where is the money? Hmm? Give me the money. Okay, money. Neck is your name, right? Yes, sir. Now you listen to me. I don't know what my son told you. And I don't know what you saw in my son. I don't know what both of you are doing. But let me tell you. My son will never marry you. So if there is anything you are hoping to achieve with him, Kill it now. Stay away from my son. Or you are going to force me to unleash the totality of Ubu Fiamadi Ebube on you. And when I do that, <laughs> Neko Keke, when you force me to do that, you will not even see where you are going to hide. Get out. Wait. Hey. What did I say? You said I should stay away from your son. I will not see. I won't. I won't come close to your son again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, sir. Let me see you here, Kenya. Go anywhere close to my son if I can. That man is evil. That man is a devil. Can you imagine he threatened me? That if I value my life, I should stay away from his son. Or else, he will unleash the totality of himself on me. Can you imagine? He unleash the totality of himself on you. What does that mean? How in the world am I supposed to know? I just know that that man is evil. Anyways, I I called you here because of a serious issue that I I cannot seem to process alone. What other issue can be more serious? The fact that I cannot be with the man that I love. I cannot marry the man I love. Oh, because because his father is is, is the devil. Ah. It shall not be well with you, Griffin. It shall not be well with you. Hmm. It's actually because of this same Ogwefi that I want to talk to you. Hmm? What happened? Did he do something to you? My sister. I was just lying on that bench. I think I, maybe like a daydream, I, I just slept off. And I had this dream. In the dream, Obwefi wanted to kill me. But I escaped. It's a lie. The scary part of it is that as soon as I opened my eyes from that dream, I saw Obwefi walking right into my compound like that same minute that I woke up. It's a lie. Wait, tell me you're joking. No, I'm not. But what's he doing in your house? that he came to warn me to stay away from his family. If not, what happened to Jeku will happen to me. Yeah. Will, in fact, he said that he himself will happen to me. You see, I said it. 
I said it. That man is pure evil. That man is a devil. Hey. But wait. Does it mean that he has a hand in Jeku's death? You know, I've been forcing my mind not to go that route. Because I, I, I'm confused at this point. I am really confused. There's no way we say that if he doesn't have a hand in Jeku's death. But seriously, I, I don't get it. Why does he not want Jeku to get married? What did Jeku do to him? That man is a devil. That man is evil. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Anyway, let's forget about him. So now, what are you going to do? Are you still going ahead with the marriage? Mm -hmm. Mama. Yes. Please, I, I came to tell you that I cannot continue with the marriage plans anymore. Please, I, I, I want to cut off every tie I have with your family and just, you just go my way. Please. Why are you saying this? Did I offend you in any way? No, Mama, you did not. Please, but I cannot continue. I, I value my life. I don't want to be careless with my life. I don't want to die. I don't understand. Why are you saying all this? Is there anything you, need to, you want to tell me? Tell me if I went wrong, I will fix it. No, Mama, you haven't done anything wrong. You have not. But... I can't do anything about it. I just I just cannot continue. Please. Please. You can't abandon a poor widow like me at this point. You're my last hope. Don't do this. Tell me if there's anything wrong. I will fix it. See, he came to my house to warn me. Huh? Yes, he told me that if I should continue with the marriage plans to Jeku, that what happened to Jeku will happen to me. I, I don't want anything to happen to me, Mama. Please. I wanted to do this for Jeku, but at this point, I, I can't. I've had enough. I thought getting a wife for Jeku would solve everything. I didn't know I was busy doing, doing irrelevant things instead of focusing on the goal. Now I know that there's something more important than this. I was busy chasing shadows. Hi! Mama. Mama. Take it easy. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. That a normal refused Jeku does not mean we cannot find another woman for Jeku. Uh -uh. No, I'm not ready to find another woman now. There's something more important than finding another woman. I am not going to find another woman for Jeku. There's something more important than finding another woman for him. And that is what I'm going to handle now. In fact, it's no longer time to talk, but time to act. And... What important thing is that? Mm. Oh, Zam. Mm, why? It's not good. I came because I know that my husband and my son did not die a natural death. But ask me of the evidence. I don't have. Mm. That is why I could not report it to the police. And I heard of Ototunzo. Mm -hmm. That is why I came. I know that Ototunzo is a spirit. Mm -hmm. And as the chief priest of this deity, I want to plead with you for Ototunzo to pin down the killers of my husband and my son. Mm. Is that all? Yes. Mm. Odutunzu, you have had her. Odutunzu, mwari bubo, mwere kwensu, you have had this woman. Odutunzu, she believes that some people are behind the death 
of her husband and son. Odudunzu, she cannot find them. And that is why she is here. For you to help her find them. She cannot fi fight them. And that is what brought her here. For you to help her fight them. Odudunzu, you and I know that human life is so sacred. Whosoever kills a human being has banished peace. Otutunzui has never been reported that anybody came to you and go back empty-handed. Otutunzu, if what this woman reported is right, Otutunzu, do not disappoint her. Odutunzu, rise and fight for her! Rise and fight for her! You look sad. You look like you have lost all hope. What is it, Mama? My dear, I've seen worse things than this. That is why I went to the gods for them to take my life and they refused. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they are still keeping me alive till now. Maybe because you have not finished what you were sent to do. What is it that I have not done? I am an empty woman. The best thing that will happen to this life now is death. Don't say that. It is usually not easy. But life gives us opportunities. Some opportunities, my dear, are not worth it. Mama, let me tell you a story. I was born into a wealthy family. I had five siblings and my parents. Life was moving so well for us until one day I lost everything. In a day, I lost my whole family. And in order not to lose myself, I had to run to Tutunzu for protection. And ever since then, I've been alive. So you see, I totally understand what you are passing through. You mean you don't have anyone at all? But Tutunzu is the only family I have. You want me to give you more money? What happened to the last money I gave you? How did you spend it? Papa, you told me I should stop bringing women into this house. Do you think paying for a hotel is easy? It's, easy. it's very, very expensive. Then you have to understand that the best way is to control the number of women you are moving out with. I don't understand. Must you sleep with all the women in this town? Must you finish my money because I gave you permission to be, to be sleeping with women? And you have not even managed to impregnate any of them. And you're still opening your mouth talking. Does it mean you don't want to give me gratitude or what? What is going on? Uh, well, I, Papa, uh, I'm ready to give you grandchildren. I am capable. I'm still young and active. Uh, but the problem here is that uh, none of these young here will accept to have pregnant for me without me bringing them into this house. Yeah. Yes. Then what you need to do is to make a choice. Look at all of them and select one who is responsible that can become pregnant for you. But you have to agree with her that she must not spend the night here. Because all these women, they will always start feeling as if they are already wives by the time they start spending the night. This person will have an agreement with you that she will come during the day and once it is getting dark, she leaves. Do everything possible to make her pregnant. And then when she delivers the child, we are going to take the child and set her. And then she leaves. That's the business. Are you good to go? Yes, yes. Uh, go. I'm good. I will do exactly as you said. I will select the most beautiful and intelligent one among no, them. The beauty is not my problem here. The issue is the one that will just become pregnant. Uh, inshallah, inshallah, I will, I will do as you said. I will bring her here and get her pregnant. She's not sleeping over. I will do as you said. Uh, 
Baba Anna, uh, when am I expecting the money you promised me for my palm oil business? But that is the problem we have. Before you came in, I never had problem selling lands. The only land I marked for sale, within one week, the land is sold. But since you come back, I've never managed to sell any land. I'll be setting business for all the lands I marked for sale. None of them, and no, no, we have not sold any of them. So I don't know the kind of spirit you, you, you come back with. You need to readjust your spirit so that business can be going. Hey. My own spirit is not good. Listen, readjust your spirit. I don't know the kind of spirit you can beat. Baba Anna, which spirit am I going to be using now? Should I swap my spirit with Ibrahim's spirit? Hey. Hey. Which spirit? My own spirit? Hey. What even I got that since you come back, everything is standstill. Even to get a woman pregnant, you cannot get a woman pregnant. Oh. Can you be can you leave Alam now? What game are you for? What game? What game? Readjust your spirit one way or the other. Find somebody that you can, you know, hmm. make pregnant. And then readjust your spirit so that business can be going. Okay. I will I will I will readjust my spirit. I will change my spirit to my life. Hey, I will change my spirit. I want to marry her for Jiku as soon as possible. And I'll do it without Ubuefi's consent. Because it's obvious that he doesn't want me to marry for my son. Well, are you sure this uh, Tutun's date will allow you to marry her? Because um, she belongs to the gods. <laughs> there might be a problem. No. I made all my inquiries before coming up with this decision. Okay. And the girl is ready to get married. Well, um, of course you would like to experience freedom. Yeah. I'm only concerned about <laughs> what other things involved. That's what I'm only concerned about. Because you cannot joke with the gods, the things that belong to the gods. You can't. The priest of this deity is a it's an honest, it's a decent and and well-educated man. He has no problem with me marrying the girl of the deity. Well, this is sounding very nice. Mm -hmm. Mama, do not hesitate to call me in case you need anything. I'll be there for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to get a wife for my son. Without a boy his consent. Because all the obvious that he doesn't want me to marry for my son. Do you think the Ototunzu deity will allow you to marry her? Remember, she belongs to the gods. And I, I, yeah, I hope there will not be any problem. I made enough inquiries before getting to this decision. And the girl in question is ready to get married. Mm, of course, I know she wants her freedom. But I'm thinking about the other things. You know, you cannot joke with somebody that belongs to the gods. And I am am. Are you prepared for this? The man taking care of this deity is a decent and well-educated man. He has no problem me marrying the girl off from the deity. Uh, well, no problem. if you say so, uh, it's getting uh, better already. Huh. Uh, okay, Akungenazo, I shall be with you. Uh, if you need anything, do not hesitate to call me. I shall be with you. Hmm? Yeah, I'm waiting to see. Baba! Ha! Ubu if you want! Ha! And where are you coming from? Ha! Ubu if you... Ha! If you check the art, you will know that... Often the room is not in a regular attire. Papa, you need to experience what happened today. Where are you I... coming from? Let me land. Papa, I am coming back from Aguleri. Yes, Aguleri. We went there to marry one beautiful angel for my brother Jibu. What? Yes, that's not possible. There is no way that woman will ever marry any woman for Jeku without me. Ha. It's not possible. 
Papa, it's possible. And I just told you now that I went with them. Papa, and I represented you very well. Active. Papa, you need to see your son. All they need is a male child from our family that will sit and represent this family. Papa, I waited there. I waited there. I waited there. I they ask you to do that. They ask you to come and do that and you went without telling me. Yes, peacefully. I went there peacefully. Ha, Papa. Is, is it wrong? Is it wrong? I'm sorry if it's wrong. Papa, Mama Jebu just told me today today. And I have no choice. I have to go with her since they said they need a male child from my family just to sit and represent. I have no job that to follow her. Since the journey was far, I thought you were not going to go there. I have no choice than to go with her. You understand? Father, you need to see your son, Father. Uncle Chiri, my papa, if you see beautiful girls in a grave, hey, Papa get there, you will soon be in law. You are, you are, you are a good. Me. Oh, what I do, Papa? You are a good. Ha! I don't have anything to tell you. Let, let me see that with my friend. Papa! Hey! hey. I don't touch anything. I don't touch anything. Papa, see, I'm your son. Look, Papa, you need to see Agulay Rume. Look, Papa, come. Welcome. Eh? This is your house. Thank you, Mama. Okay, feel at home. In fact, if you feel tired, you can come here and lie down so you can, oh? No problem, Mama. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Maybe you can show you your room. Oh? Okay, Mama. Let's Thank go. Thank you. Okay, Mama. No. Hey, let's go. Let me go and show you your room, eh? Where is that woman? Where is she? Come out here. Uh, no, good afternoon. What is good about this afternoon? No, what is this nonsense I am hearing? That you went and married a wife for my late brother's son? And I don't know, I don't know anything about it. How is that possible? Uh, no, nah, see, the journey was so far. In fact, it's so long. I, I figured out that you'll be so tired. In fact, you will not like to take such a long journey with us. Uh, that is why I took uh, your son. I went with your son. You know, he's also the man of the house. Hey, 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 shut up. Shut up. You're talking mm -hmm. nonsense. Now, let me tell you, take that woman. I don't even want to see her. Take her back to wherever you brought her from. And let me tell you, that as the head of this family, no woman has been married. And she's not welcome here. Take her back. What? Don't give yourself high blood pressure. See that woman. I married her according to the customs and traditions of Aguleri. She's fully married. I paid her marital bride price. So she's a wife. And she's going nowhere. She, she stays in this house. Are you, are you talking to me? No, no, I'm just stating the obvious. No, 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 you are burying me now? Mm -mm, just saying the obvious. <laughs> yeah? mm -hmm. Welcome. Oh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> of all they do, there is no way that can ever happen. Uh, uh, you are too smart to my liking. How do you figure that I was lying? Everyone I told this story never doubted me except you. Well, it's simple. I only analyzed it and came to the conclusion that it can never happen. You may not understand that you have this blessing from the gods <laughs> that many professors do not have. I know you are flattering me and I know that. Well, thank you. And uh, what is this cursed woman doing with you? No, 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 no. Who gave you the right to become very free in my house? Talking freely with my son, are you mad? Ba Babana. This is Jegu's Why are you talking? Hey, hey, Jegu has no wife. I told you that before, and I'm telling you that again. You see this thing that is standing here? I don't know the lies that Mama Jegu told you. I don't know what she heaped on your head that made you come here and be fooling yourself, thinking you're Jegu's wife. I am the head of this family, and I'm telling you that there is no way you can ever be a wife in this family. 
Oh, don't worry, God. Baba Nanda is not right. What? Is it is not right? Often I do. When you are done with the cursed one, calling others cursed, you know where to find me. Yes. <laughs> My darling wife, this is my very good friend, Obonaya. He's a good man. I'd like for you to take care of him, like you would have taken care of me. He's my best friend. He can be trusted. I know. I saw it in him. And I will do as you wish. Thank you, my darling. I want Naya. I want you to take care of my wife and children. Look after them. You can count on me. I'll do just that. You can count on me. I know. But I can count on you. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Obonna. How... How did you get to know my name? I met you not long ago. How? Where? When? How? Where? When? I will tell you all that, but not today. You're sounding very mysterious. Do I? Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Please sit. Thank you. So, what can I offer you? Um, yourself is good enough for me. Uh, no, I don't mean it that way. What I meant to say is that your presence is good enough for me. I totally understand what you meant. And just so you know, I am all yes. Anytime. Uh, any uh, day. I'm not sure I heard that properly. A lot of things I better have done than described. If I ever see you with that evil woman again, I am going to handle you the way it will shock you. It will shock you how I will handle you. Try it again. Can you, can you tell me what is your problem? Why, why are you sending everyone around you away? I am not sending anyone away. I am trying to protect myself. Anybody who wants to kill me must die before me. Get that in mind. Papa, I don't understand what this means. But to be honest with you, you are making life unbearable for people around you. Including myself, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. If I knew that this is the kind of father that I have, I would, I would never bother myself to do for you. Are, are, are you sick or what? How can you say that kind of thing to me? How dare you? Now, do you want me to follow with you before you call yourself to a meeting? Are you mad? Father, if you don't want to wake up one day alone in agony, stop treating people poorly. Stop debating on how they live their lives. I will not want you again. You are wanting me. You won't want me again. This one. Where are 
Who is the whose wife? Is it this retired prostitute? Is it this harlot who I can bet you has lost every elasticity? Who has no bearing down there? Is it this animal who cannot find any husband anywhere? You brought it to this family to come and reap where she has no sold anything? And I, you, you have to stop this. Don't call her that. What? She is my son's wife. Nobody is so your son's wife. I am the head of this family. And I have told you before that there is no woman married here. So I don't know what you are doing with this thing. You are not telling me that you want for everything strolling. What kind of nonsense strolling is that? What if you imagine me? I have tried to make you understand that I'm a wife in this family. You are not a wife. I have tried to stretch hand of amenity to you, but you refused. Stop coming for me. If I retaliate, you will not know what hits you. Mom, I will be inside if you need me. Okay. Inside whose house? Can you see the cause you brought to this family? She is not a cause. She is my son's wife, and stop calling her that. Okay, Rabba. I'm talking to you. Hey. To the extent that you are bringing men into this house, to the extent of bringing in that sort of a cow to come and spend the night here, are you mad or something? Oh, well, if you watch how you speak to me, I have told you this before, and I'll still tell you again. I am not one of those women you frighten. Be very careful. Hey, listen to me. I don't know the very promise that useless woman made to you. That made you to come here and be wasting yourself. But I'm going to advise you. Leave this place now that you still have your whole body members intact. Get out of this place. Or do you want your family to come and carry you as a corpse? Is that what you want? <laughs> Away from you. My name is Miloma. And if you're wise, you will be very careful of what you say. <laughs> Your name is Miriam, you're telling me that? Are you mad? Listen, there is a reason I'm still tolerating you. That is because of what they said about your background. But you are beginning to push me to the wall. And let me tell you, if you push me harder than you have done already, I am going to <laughs> I am going to make you regret ever leaving where you came from to come here. This is a promise. <laughs> hey, now I'm gonna go I'm talking to this girl and she is laughing at me. By the time I am done with this girl, she will never be able to understand what it is.
Is this you? A word for your own man, Luton. An info. You're looking for your documents. They are with my wife. Wait, are you telling me you are the one who took my documents? Why? You have proven to be a man who cannot be trusted with anything. Therefore, the documents you search for have been withdrawn from you and given to my wife. If you want these documents, you must submit to my wife as one who has been brought into this family to sanitize a once peaceful and beautiful family that you destroyed with your chance of greed. I walk one out, don't want to catch a evil that men do. We'll leave with them till tomorrow. Where are the documents? Evil that men do. We'll leave with them till the end. You decided to stop everyone from getting married because the fool told you that someone will challenge you. If you are not an evil man, why would you have a problem with your sons rising above you? Hey, shut up. You are not supposed to be asking me any question. You are supposed to be answering my own. And I'm going to ask you the question again. Where are the documents you stole from my drawer? They are not your documents. They belong to my late father-in-law. And I have kept them where your evil hands will not reach. Are you going to give me the documents? Or do you want me to kill you? that I should not allow them to bring into my family. I am having this fear that this one now is the one. I have done everything possible to send her out, but it appears as if she's not very comfortable and very relaxed in my own house. And now they have stolen my documents. The documents I kept in my drawer. And without those documents, I am finished. So? I don't want to be by so. No, I, I wonder what you want me to do. Because my duty as a seer is to reveal these problems and solutions of a problem, a calamity. 
coming towards mankind. I possibly advised them on how to get it solved. Yes, you and did. That I have done. Yes, you told me that an evil woman will be married into my family, that, that she is going to put the last nail on my coffin, that I should avoid the woman coming into my family, which I did. I frustrated every effort they made to marry a wife for Jehu. Jehu did not marry any woman until he finally died. I need you to confirm to me. This very demon that my late brother's widow married through the back door, is she the one? Uh, well, I don't know. It might interest you to hear this, Obuefi. Obuefi Amadi Ebube. There is nothing like marriage through the back door. What? Once a woman is married, she is married. No. That one that is tormenting my life is not married. I am Obefi Amadi Ebube, the head of Amadi Ebube family of Umitam. And I was not there when they married this woman. Is it ever possible that the head of a family is not part of the marriage that brings a woman into this family? It's not possible. She is not married. They brought her through the back door. Confirm to me that she is the one. Come on, leave a man, man. Now listen. In case it might interest you to hear this. That woman was married from a deity. A deity highly elevated. A highly elevated deity. As highly elevated as the Otutunzu of Aguilera. And the woman in question is the very woman that will strike the last nail upon your coffin. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. Mm -mm. Don't do that. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. Is that, this is not the time for you to do all this uh, character of your teeth. There's a serious issue here. How do I solve this problem? Leave that woman. But if you leave that woman alone, you have lost it. Yes. Because you cannot wage wars against the gods. I used to tell you that if you want to displace madness, do that when you are up there on the tree, not when you are down already. On how about the Lucha and Agobanko? You have lost it, you have lost it. Yes, uh, except where you feel you can still do anything, you still have the powers you can fight. Go ahead and exercise your powers, but don't involve me. Don't involve a way if you're not a Yeah. Like, uh, how much can I give you? I you don't do? need your money. I am not one of those men they lead out and abandon. If I start anything with you, I must end it with you. Idiot. That you are living here already as wife to Jeku, it's not why I'm happy. I am happy because you have conceived a child that will come into this family and make everyone happy. Does it mean that you're pregnant already? I'm surprised that she knows because I confirmed it this morning and I've not even told my mother in law. <sighs> you came with a star to brighten this family. And this child in your womb will come here, salvage everything that is wrong in this family. The child in whose womb? I smell blood. You are too evil to even listen and hear this news. You have murdered peace. And for this reason, you shall know no peace for the rest of your life. You know I don't have your time. 
Shouting is your stock in thread. Moving around and talking nonsense. I'm not here. I'm not even seeing. Listen. Are you the one with the with the child? Not just a child. But that child that will come into this family and mend, rewrite the history of this family. The family you almost destroyed. You are a fool to say that. Now, if you know what is good for you, leave this family. Now that you still have your whole body intact, get out without cost pregnancy. Oh boy, if you're mad, baby. I am going nowhere. For I have a husband who has already accepted me into this family. Live with it, or I will be the last person that will put the last nail on your coffee. Ogwefi Amade Bube. You should know when to stop. This is a woman of the gods. Don't threaten her. You know you are a fool. To remind me of that useless language of the last nail on a coffin. Do you know who you are talking to? You have just one minute to get out of this compound or I am going to blow you into smithereens. Away from my I go nowhere. I am going nowhere. She goes nowhere. You are not going to shut up? Chonana, my copia, one, I beg, he 